Alright, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to some more Killing Everything in Breath of the Wild. So, it's a pretty monumental stream. This is our 10th stream in the run, and, well, with that, we're getting very close to the 2,000 enemy milestone, which, uh, is getting very close. So we'll definitely hit that today, and I think it'll be a lot of fun, because today we're finishing the Champions build, which we're most of the way through, and we can also knock out some bonus shrines alongside that, because there's a lot of, of those Guardian Scouts and shrines, and, uh, you know, even in the, doing the Champions build stuff will be fun too, like, uh, the next two Blights. Right now we're doing Revali's quest, so we'll fight uh, Wind Blight again, and then we'll fight Fire Blight, and then the finale of that. So really a lot to do today, and uh, it'll be pretty awesome for our 10th. So welcome everyone, hopefully you're having a good Wednesday, and uh, yeah, <laughs> hit up this normal shrine, it's one of those that actually has enemies. Because less than half of the shrines in the game actually have enemies, so. But makes the run a bit easier for us, so we don't have to do a whole 120 shrines, so that's nice. Only about, well, 60. Well, technically, there's 136 shrines, because DLC adds 16. <laughs> Alright, let's go down there. This will be a nice way to kind of get kicked off. And yeah, the rewards today will be awesome, getting the Master Cycle and the rest of the upgraded abilities. So, I've been very excited. <laughs> Let us see what we got. Power of Reach? Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure we have the Power of Reach. Can we reach that? Obviously, Magnesis is a better option, but I just got tempted. Also, because we have a million resources that we don't need. Yeah, you know what? Uh, ignore what I just did. I thought I was going to work on my first bomb, but... Ignore me. <laughs> oh, you know, it's good that we did that, because we powered up the weapon. Oh, okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, attack up drill shaft. <laughs> I forgot there was a drill shaft in here. Um... Yeah. Okay. Um, I think we already have one that's already modified. I mean, critical, it's nice, but... I mean, hey, you can't go wrong with this. <laughs> By Leafs? This is OP. Oh my god. What's the best modifier in a drill chef? Is it a 12? No. Wait. I'm looking it up. Sorry. We're actually looking it up right now. Um... I don't have the means to. Crap, one second. <laughs> I will do that in a second. I'm pretty sure it's 12, though. How about that? We'll do it in the loading cutscene. <laughs> okay, sorry. That's pretty uh, fantastic. So, okay, what's our first step? We got to shoot a fire through something. Drill shaft is always OP. Did I forget the shrine? Um, oh, mm -hmm. tricky. Clearly above my skill level here. Fire dance. <gasps> Wait, ah, <laughs> that's okay too. You know, we're gonna use the critical at drill shaft because it's extra critical. Oh, first scout. Boop. Um, you have a lot of health, so we're gonna switch to the, uh, the health destroyer armor. Here, actually, like that, maybe not. Hmm. Trying to drop it, and also drop... Ooh, drill shaft, yeah. That'll do the trick. There we go, let him be just stunned there for a bit. He has too much health, I don't want to worry with that, you know? So drill shaft's doing a toll, it's very OP. You can just stick and do that for a bit. Um, while we figure out how to do the shrine. I think there's one... Ooh, at least one more of you. How's it going over there? Okay, you're gonna take a bit more, which is fine. We have a guardian shield, we do. Getting ready again. Shoot a little beam at me. Didn't do too much damage. I don't even need to parry with the shield, it's just more for the fun. Mm. Yeah, just auto deflection. Why not? <laughs> Rack up a bunch of damage at the end. Sure, yeah. I don't really... I guess I do have this battle axe. We'll just <laughs> see how powerful that is. <laughs> Back in his face. He doesn't think about it that well. Ow. Neither did I. Oh, the standing spear. We got it. <laughs> it did a little twirl, too. <laughs> you know what? 
I thought it was a very special thing, but I noticed it's always this shrine. Specifically that guardian. How's how's our guardian doing though? He's just gonna take a second. He's still cooking. <laughs> okay. Now this is gonna be more fire. But nothing hard. Do bread percent. We got the drill shaft, so now we need good bread. You know what? In honor of that, uh, I don't think we need to eat it, but we do have our hearty bread for when it's needed, so. <laughs> also, yeah, welcome everyone uh, for tuning in. We just got things kicked off. We're just in our first shrine. And there we go. We had a rupee. Uh, I think that spot. Oh, oh, yeah, that opened the door. I was like, wait a second. What does this button do? As they just used it for the puzzle. <laughs> Thank you, bird pirate. Yes, the leader of the carbs. Okay, um, that guy's almost dead. We're just doing this whole shrine in the meantime. In Master World, these guys just have so much health. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, just that? Okay. Well, I think we're just in time. Wow, look at that. We can watch the showdown. Da -da. Not too awful. Also, I love how this shrine just randomly has a drill shaft. It's like in the middle of Hebra. But why not, you know? It's good for us. Now we have uh, dualies for the drill shafts. Very nice. Yeah, rocking that. 26. All right. I want to look at that drill shaft, like I said, like two minutes ago. Um, so I have a modifier sheet. I'm going to pull up on my screen really quick as we get this. Totally fine. Okay. Spirit Orb. We get the gist. Okay, there we go. Um, so we have this. I'm gonna look at my spears. And drill shaft. No, it is a 13. I'm like, it seemed a little not right. Okay, so attack up 13 is the max with the drill shaft. Um, that's good to know. And that sheet, um, I don't think I have a, it's not linked in the description, but it's uh, a Breath of the Wild modifier numbers. If you Google search that, it should come up. Okay. Well, we can mark off this one. I marked uh, all the shrines with little icons, and the icon represents the quantity of enemies uh, in the shrine. So the shrine has two, so we marked it with uh, a bow because it's a second. And we used pins like this a lot for enemy runs. So one enemy, two enemies, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine plus. So. And this way I can just mark the shrines that uh, we need to go to instead of all of them because we only need the enemy ones. But okay, let's do a... Uh, mm, we can do this stuff. There is the the flight range. That's part of Champion's Build. And then we can mark off the two enemies we did in that shrine. 1888, 1890. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, and for Champion's Build, we... We did the one-hit section, we did uh, Naboris and uh, the Zora Rudo, sorry. And then now we're doing a uh, Meadow, so we have one done, just two more of the side ones in here. Which actually, first we could do the Shrine, because there is an enemy in here. At a previous point, we were just getting these four points, so I didn't do all of them. And plus, I didn't have all them memorized of uh, how many enemies were in each one and whatever. Because we're starting off a little slow in terms of the count increase today. But we have to do these eventually, so it's not a huge deal. Whoa. Actually, good. I need that stamina. <laughs> Alright, also on a side note, um, uh, today is also a pretty monumental day in just Zelda news, because uh, uh, today marks 100 days till uh, a Tears of the Kingdom comes out. So, it's... Well, that we're almost in the double digits now, and a very good milestone. It still seems like a while away, but in comparison, uh, it's been, I think, over 2,000 days since Breath of the Wild first released. So, in comparison, you know, we're like over 95% of the way there. So, when you think of it that way, it's not that far of a wait. I would say it's pretty good. Also, yeah, that was literally just the shrine. It's, it's a pretty simple one. <laughs> Sometimes it's just like the one extra little uh, chest in there, which gives you like an amber half the time. But 
we we're going to get it because it just felt too quick. Come on. Maybe not an ember. Maybe it's actually something decent, you know? Mm. I don't know. We have a lot of royal bows. Or... Oh, I guess that one's damaged. So maybe we got a few shots out of that. Yeah. Whoosh. You're going to be on the other side of the country when Tears comes out? Aw. Yeah, I'm purposely making sure my schedule is like completely clean that entire month so I can play it. I've waited too long. Luckily, I can do that because like until we had a release date, I was very scared it was going to come out like a bad time. So I wouldn't be able to play it as much. I also have a hair sticking. Funny. Okay. Well, we're just going to keep going. I have my 1891. Every time you do this shrine, you always get lost in it. I mean, that final part's pretty deceiving. But, well, it's the path of hidden winds, so... I guess you look out for the hidden wind, and you find it. But yeah, especially the first time I did the shrines, like... No experience will be like that, because there were just... I don't know, it's like the first time solving the puzzle, and... Obviously, there's a lot of ways we know how to, like, cheese them the more we play. But something about that first time you get experience the puzzle in this game is really fun. Especially the riddles, I thought those were cool. Because those are always things that you can't do immediately. Sometimes you literally have to think on it for, you know, a few days or whatever. Like, I, I remember there was one, like, uh, in Hebra, also one, like, uh, Hiteno, where it's, like, the three trees that were lined up, and you had to, like, follow the path to the end. I couldn't exactly figure out what I was trying to say. You had to, like, form a line out of three trees and just keep following it. But it leads to a shrine in the Mount Lonero above Hebra. It was cool. That's a falcon bone there. How do I know that? I play too much of this game. Um, so we'll save it because I don't have a lot of storage. But uh, yeah, we'll definitely come back. Because I like my falcon bows. Oh wait, do I have to have three in one shot? You do. Which you don't have a lot of stamina for, actually. Do we have food, right? Of course we don't. Um... Wait. I want to see if a bomb works, and then we can do two after. Because that'd be kind of funny. Because it's three, right? Um, shoot four targets to win. That's... Yeah. Yeah, I want to see if a, bo a bomb works for the first two, and then I can do two arrow shots. Because I can pull off two arrow shots for sure. Hmm. Okay. You don't get the, the stamina regen like in the normal challenge. There's no way I can make it slower. There's no buff that helps with flight stuff. Yeah. It worked! Okay, we did it fast enough! <gasps> yep, that was all four. Okay, so <laughs> if you have low stamina, you can literally bomb those two to get the first done and then two more. Which you can get two more with a good bow and uh well, you know, like, just just a single stamina wheel should work. <laughs> okay, I never did Champion's Bell with this little stamina. Um, so, that's actually kind of nice. Or I guess, bomb, yeah, I could use Bomb Arrow. Um, more than likely. I mean, I'm sure if a remote bomb worked. Uh, but still, you would have to turn around in that time. And unless you have your sensitivity high, that might be hard. With bombs, I could just plant one when I'm already facing the right way. Or I guess you could cancel out of it. I don't know. Um, so bomb arrow for that one or remote bombs. Okay. The four winds. So where are the four winds? Somewhere. Oh, it's this one. Okay. Just one huge puzzle. Yeah, definitely doing the normal shrines will be nice for more stamina. We just haven't done a lot of shrines in the playthrough. Um, and when we have been getting orbs, it's been a lot of hearts, because at first I was trying to get the Master Sword, but uh, since we did the glitch to get it early, party shifted. That's good. Now let's actually make it. I think I double. Oh! <laughs> of course! Just trying to paraglider cancel the fall. Uh, took that little updraft to just. 
fall off. Very nice. So the next one, we have to go inside. I like how every little uh, side of it's like a little puzzle. Hmm. Very neat. Ever notice when in bowl time, uh, enemies' arrows don't travel fast, but links do? Yeah. So that is a nice thing. It's like not only slowing down, slowing down time for you, but also your arrows. So, if an enemy is moving a lot, around a lot and you're in bullet time and shoot the arrow, as long as you stay in bullet time, like, as the, enemies try, or as the arrow is trying to connect, it almost always gets a shot done. So, it's very nice. <laughs> yeah. So, our bullet time is literally like Link's champion ability. It's very cool. Whoop. Okay. Now, let's actually try to get this last one. Mm, okay. That was actually very close, but we got all six. Oops. I got I'm not used to low stamina, so more of a hearts guy usually, but <laughs> out of range. That's fine too. Okay. Um up here. Yes. We gotta take like the staircase up. I like the Champion's Battle Shrines a lot. Like, some of the shrines in the base game are just extremely short, but you don't really get that in the Champion's Belt. Like, they definitely made every shrine kind of worth your time in terms of a, a thorough puzzle, which I appreciate. And obviously, having 16 new shrines that aren't blessings or test of strength is really nice. And I mean, the one test of strength that we did get was, like, the best one. So, I'll take that. Okay, there's a chest there. It's not fooling me. I like how this shrine uses the, the hidden win sort of mechanic from the last shrine. What do you guess is fitting? Because it's right next to that shrine. Where it's like the path is hidden. Don't know if that was intentional, but it might have been. Also nice, but we're, we're kind of low on slots. Sorry, I... Uh, I like all these shields too much. <laughs> Even though that one had more durability, it's okay. Eventually, when we get the Hylian Shield, that's all we're going to use anyways. <laughs> that and the Ancient. But, I mean, some exceptions. Like, a lot of people forget that the Guardian Shield specifically can deflect the Guardian Scout Beams, which is nice for doing Shrine stuff. Uh, and then, like, obviously Radiant Shield has the best surfing stats, so that's always good. Yeah, welcome everyone for tuning in. Um, yeah, what we're doing today and all the run details are in the description as always. Um, but yeah, our goal today is to finish Champion Spell and do Shrines alongside of it. So, in terms of our total enemy yield, it won't be as much as usual because, I mean, just a lot of the enemies we're doing today are just ones that are hard to reach. Because like any enemies that are tied to Divine Beasts or Shrines are naturally going to take a lot longer to do. Because, um, you know, there's build up and not a lot of enemy density, but it's all what we have to do, and the fact that we're doing most of it in the earlier half of the run means that it'll make for a faster later half, and as soon as we finish today, we'll have the Master Cycle, which makes everything just extremely rapid, so. Okay. There's some stuff over there. We can wait on that, though. Um, now we're doing the last part of Revali's song, which... Actually, yeah, we can warp here. It's like over here-ish, so yeah, we can just do that. Um, gonna warp to the beast. Let's look at our map because we can knock out some of these uh, exterior ones, kind of. So right now, um, we're at Rito Village. There is a lot of stuff around, but just to make it easier, there's like three keys that are statically spawned in uh, in our lake here. I think we might as well just kill them. We can just make a little campfire right now. Because those are just annoying. Might as well do them. Uh, I think the goal today is just kind of doing some of the more annoying ones. Uh, that are important, but obviously with a lot of the big DLC stuff too. So, let's make ourselves a little fire. 
Stay nice and toasty. Okay. Nighttime, and let's find ourselves three keys. So. Okay. I don't think I've ever had to kill these keys before because they seem to be very random in spots. Like, just kind of by the pillars? I don't know. Yeah, this isn't a very conventional place. There's like two right there. So I guess a bombing one will be helpful. Um, in terms of heights, I don't know where they spawn. I just know they spawn here, so. Maybe it's like when you're overlooking the village. That's when they spawn. Hmm. Oh. Should be two? Kind of came from the other way. I want to say those are our two, if I can check really quick. Because there are random spawns, so I have to make sure we're just not killing those. If we do kill them, we can't count them. Um. Yeah. <laughs> These are annoying ones. No? Okay. And here are any more keys or anything like that. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes it's just gonna be like that. Puppies, no. I would hate to hurt the puppies. Let's get that one other over there, and then we can keep heading east, and we can get, uh, well, the final Revali Shrine for the Champion's Build. No, not like that. Let's let's have a round three here. How about that? It, it might be a little better, or maybe the exact opposite. Actually, you know, sometimes that happens. Also, that wall is not loading in over there. Okay. Maybe a round four. That that should do it now. Yeah, a round four should be perfect. So why wouldn't it be? Okay. A round five might be better. A round five was better. Okay. All right. <laughs> Quickly spin around and we should be fine. Translation, we better be fine because <laughs> that's like a bit of effort. Yeah, we're good. I'm only lying to myself here. Ah, <gasps> oh, man. Let's update those two. It's fine. We can get there at the same speed this way, too. Sometimes it just... It may suck a little bit. Hmm. Yeah. Wind bombs, it's like either you get a chain of good ones or a chain of bad ones. Because since it goes off muscle memory, but the timing's so tight, it's like if you're just happen to... Well, have the muscle memory wrong, then... You're gonna keep screwing it up unless you like force yourself to do it the right way, which is hard to do, you know? How would I rate Breath of the Wild 1 to 10? I'm thinking like a. It's at least a 3. Yeah, it's at least a 3. So, you know, at least. Definitely not less. Uh, I think that's a fair ranking. Okay. Go over here. Oh, by the way, we're talking in millions, right? Okay, I just I just want to make sure we're on the same page. So. Also, I'm not sure wh why these ones specifically are kind of weird. There should be a bat here. Let me. No, it's not. Those are dynamic spawns. Um. Yeah, so there should be a keys right there. Why is it not? I don't know. Ow. And Yigas? Okay. Oops. Yeah. Sorry. I need to put that map away. 
Of course, we're starting with some of the most annoying ones we could possibly do. But it means we don't have to ever again. So can I be mad about that? No. Yigas can die, though. They're... Tree! Oh, I thought the tree was going to crush him. Also, you did a lot of damage to me. Jeez. The tree was like milliseconds away from crushing the Yiga. Whoop. Thank you, tree. Okay. Nice snipe shots. Um... I'll take your duplex. Hmm. Yeah, pretty good. Now, where's this bat that uh, I keep hearing about? It's definitely nighttime, so we should be seeing it. Don't tell me there's like an obscure hidden cave on one of these I never knew about. Oh! Hi, Bat. We're just going to let this thing drain. Because that means we get a quick ticket to back up. Go. I always get comments whenever I, uh, I like, drown in a run or something. And I don't update de the death counter. Some people freak out because they don't understand that drowning isn't a death in this game. It's kind of funny. But I guess it would be in some games. I know in uh, Relics of the Past, they made uh, they made touching lava a death now. It didn't happen to us in our last Relic stream, because we weren't by lava. But like, on the alternative, if you have like a fairy or Mipha's Grace, that, uh, that does counteract it. But it makes sense that lava kills you in that. Um, in the base game, the fact that lava only does a heart is a bit odd, in my opinion. So I just really wish I had the Master Cycle, but we can have the Master Horse. Alright, Joey. Come back to us. Well, the chef video, thank you. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Joey! We've literally been rocking Joey the whole time. Maybe we'll get another horse. I, I, I just think we'll be really set with the master cycle once we get that. Alternating between horse and that. Also, I thought those berries were uh, hearty truffles. Don't ask. I like how there's regional fruit in the game, though. Like, even fruit that doesn't do much, like a wild berry or an apple or a palm fruit. It's like, it doesn't have any special effect. It just, it just exists to look pretty. But we like that, because fruit is nice. Also, you know what else is nice? Slaughtering these guys, because it's been a bit. Kill some actual enemies here. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I mean, one less than all body shots. <laughs> they eventually get us sometime. Okay, um... What's the damage here? Um... There we go, and I will eat... You know, just one of these. Oh, wow. Probably shouldn't start with the gold. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep, the old guys uh a bit the launchers. My guardian shield broke. Bonk. Okay. Not the best start to a fight I've had. There we go. Blast the four keys back and you. Um now we'll do some damage. <laughs> I know, a bit rusty. <laughs> and the arrow just flying in bullet time. Oh, that's golden with the bow. You know, I'm actually gonna take care of you first. Because you are literally, like, the ender of worlds here. Yeah, this is a hard camp. You know, finding anyone else has a bow, just not a golden. I can't have that, personally. Whoa. But Coblin, what are you doing with the Lizalfos? Uh, making friends with different kinds. Okay. Now he seems to be back far enough. Did the Wait, is that a bow guy that chased me? It is. Okay. Ow. It really is. Okay. Blow it up, but eat the hearty bread. Okay. That's all we can do there. Oop. You blocked it with the shield. Of course you did. Uh, do we have an ancient bow? We do. Ancient bow is pure shields. Nice. Okay. Kind of needed that. Okay. Pierce the shield. Ow. Slow draw time, though. And 
You're being very targeted. Okay. Lone Boy with bombs. Ow. Woo. Thank you. <laughs> Quarter of heart left. Okay. This has not been a, a good encounter. Okay. Now we're back in speed. Let's go. Uh... <gasps> yeah, this is a bit rough. Three hits. Actually, fourth one. Ooh. Yeah, we can do this. Hit them all. Nice. Ooh, both. Oh, we, we broke his guard. Nice. Okay, I need I need an updraft. I need an updraft desperately. Okay. Not intended, but again. You have to attack. You have to attack. Attack, please. There we go. Now we have the updraft we need. Not in the right area, though. Oh, the shockwave got him right at the end. Take the royal stuff. That does it. Okay. He's gone. This makes fight a lot better. <gasps> okay, eventually we pick up with speed. And that's what counts. The arrow's right there. There we go. Yep. We have to go slow-mo so we can make sure the arrows aren't hitting us. Because the arrows are fatal, uh, as we just almost died. Uh, that arrow's... Oh, never mind. It's good. Two. Three. Not the final. Because then we're down for a lot longer. Good enough. Whew! Okay, that time was... We played it a bit risky. But also the odds of getting shot from this distance are still a bit low. But I know that gold guy will one-shot us, for sure. His air, his bow's just too good. This was a tricky camp. Okay. So she's not having an attack up armor. Or, we have attack up armor, but it's not good defense attack up armor. Sorry, I meant to say that. Okay, um... What do we do for this fi final one? I guess we just say a bomb arrow. Okay. Get him a little stunned. Headshot, good. The final one. We can't get one shot here. Good. <laughs> Make this a nice bow battle. He might burn up. Oh, there we go. Dismantle. Spin's not gonna work. Lizalvos can be a bit deceiving. Let's keep burning the weapon. Or roasting it, whatever. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> that tongue would've been awful. These guys play too gross. Now this should work. And we, we had a Bolsa Sphere the whole time. Okay, nice. I knew that. <laughs> that just shunned him out. Oh, the wind. Wind kind of failed there. But it does knock him down instantly. Only like specific shots? I'm not sure. Well, that does. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and that Fury did nothing. Okay. Yeah, that, that was a pretty good one. A lot of loot. This guy's safe. That was a close one, wasn't it? Oh, you my life? Hey, nut cake. A tough one. This dude is a tough nut cake. What are you doing about this enemy camp? I like how they reward you, just random passing by travelers. So it's cool that they put camps on the side of roads like this. Also, hey, Viv. This is important. Please look at the art channel on my Discord. You're invading my stream to do it. Okay. Sorry, I, I didn't see much in chat during that because I was very, uh, doing... <laughs> oh my, that is so awesome! You saw one of the streams while... Well, oh, okay. Wait, I gotta share it on the stream one second. Let me pull it up on my thing. That's amazing. It's art. It's art. Okay. Oops, one second. Uh, I'm, get, I'm getting it up on the stream. It's in my server, but... Ready for this? So, obviously, we have Piggy. And we have Baby Floyd, but this is incredible. That is amazing art. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> With the Master Sword on the Hylian Shield? Okay. I love that too much. <laughs> and the Flint. Okay. Yes. Wow. Thank you, Derry. If you're here, sorry. A Derry Panda. 
Okay, that's an amazing art. I love that. <laughs> He's so happy. I know. That was so good. Thank you. <laughs> I just need to see that. That was that, that was incredible. That, that put a huge smile. <laughs> You're done looking at it? Fine. There you go. <laughs> see? It's, it's, it, it is perfect. The smiles in them. That, that is amazing. Like, I love that too much. It's got, like, the red hat, too. Okay. We love that. <laughs> Aw. You're here and freaking out. Aw. Yeah, aw awesome work. That was so cool. Okay, well, sorry, I'm going to do something more lame now. I, I apologize. <laughs> the stream peaked there, guys. Um, okay, I'm just going to take some weapons, and we're actually going to see how many we just killed. I'm surprised we haven't gotten a death. Ever since we started Champion's Bell, we didn't die, and uh, I'll take that as an accomplishment. Of course, he's eating some grass. Okay. Now we got to find more of the... Uh, the Revali Shrine is, because I don't remember. And while that's, I am going to, uh... Wait, first, what are you? Just a little shack? Okay. What is that, the little shack? Is the Yigo normally there, or...? Oh! Oh, I guess rocks are. What is this road? Am I, I, like, never go down this road. Lead it into Hebra? Oh, yeah. I just never go this way, really. It's kind of funny. Oop, nice jump. Like when horses jump over things that you're not expecting, you can jump over. Yeah, so basically the last Champion's Bell thing's here. I, I think, right? Right? I mean, it seems right. I'm using my uh, photographic memory here. That doesn't exist. Oh, yeah, probably the giant smokestack. They're pretty generous with that. So nothing like a good rock surf. Wow, wow. <laughs> yes. Mm. And these ones, okay. I think we have to like wait till night. I forgot what the puzzle was. I know it's like one of those two where you gotta wait. Also, I'll take the luminous, sure thing. Also, while we're waiting, we can check the counts on that camp. Because I don't remember exactly what it was. <laughs> I wish the wolf was behind us. We're going to be so rich. We already have like 25,000 rupees. Oh, was it here? Yeah. Oh, they were checking something else out. Traveler, uh, what brings you here? Watch a dragon. Uh... Flies through the valley at night. Okay. So basically what the riddle said is you had to shoot the dragon of the horn. Um, or the horn, the dragon's horn, whatever. Uh, but it passes through at night, so we have a second to just kind of wait. Guess this is a decent spot, too. I don't actually know the best farming spot for this guy, but this isn't awful. So while we're waiting like a minute, I'm going to quickly... Oh, <laughs> right, you're still there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's on the same screen. Uh, whoop, there we go. Sorry. Something less interesting. So what did we just kill? We killed a... Uh, I mean, pretty good thing. It was a lot, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen enemies right there. All goes for the count. There we go. Oh, seven... Brings up 1907. There we go. In the 1900s, so less than 100 away, which is very nice. You have 100,000 in your account? Nice. I I don't know what the max was in my playthrough. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was in six digits, like lower. I never hit like a million. I think that's wild. In fact, I originally wanted to in a 100% playthrough, but I just never got around to it. We did other things on the channel. He rides at the bridge at exactly 5 o'clock. Okay. Yeah, so it's still a bit. Um, almost a minute and a half's passed. Also, I love the accelerated time, because video game. Time moves 60 times faster in Breath of the Wild. Because every minute is uh, a real-life second. 
I don't know, it's cool to see the moon move at that speed. And now it's vanished. Okay. Well, if we're in a menu or doing anything, it's just gonna take up more time, because we'll be paused. So I really don't have too much else. Um, yeah. Wait until nighttime only waits till uh, 9 p.m. And I think it's closer to midnight, yeah. It's literally the one that you have to go like, yeah, just here. Maybe we can get that uh, rock. Ooh, yeah, maybe let's get the rock. Look out, duty's tough, the Rito says. You're not even doing anything. I mean, I guess standing there is boring in itself. There we go. Yeah, no, we got time. <laughs> Speed run against us. Also, I'm really looking forward to, uh, well, the Blight rematches are pretty fun, but most importantly, uh, Moscow Shia, because, um, I, I did them a few months ago, but before that, it's been a while, and there's a lot of different strategies to take down that boss, and I'm not as familiar compared to, like, the Blights and Ganon, because I fought those guys dozens of times. I fought Moscow Shia just a few. Ice Arrow. <laughs> we just entered the cold section, got the Ice Arrows. Hmm. Maybe it's a little later. You know, while we wait, we can do some amiibos. Because amiibos are fun. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, I know it spawns weird. <laughs> I never quite figured it out. Because he has a few different spawn locations as well. Hey, all I know is we got to shoot the Horn of the Dragon. And this is important too, because uh, we do need... Apart from Dinrel, to do the... Ooh. It's like that one, the Spring of Power, because that's uh, Tessa's strength. You know, it's great. We still have time to do Amiibo. Let's do an Amiibo, because they're fun. Uh, or two. You know what? I'm just going to do it out of speed. Because um, we can do Amiibos while we're waiting for things. First one is a fun one. This is 8-Bit Link Amiibo, because he drops sometimes a cool sword. Or just other stuff. I just like this chunky man. So, we're going to go for it. Spawn, maybe the cool sword. Maybe not. Oh, sorry, barrels. I forgot you spawned barrels. Bomb arrows are okay. <laughs> Free loot, though. Yay. It didn't even break it. I mean, a tad pathetic. I can say that at least. Okay. Second, or last one for now, uh, we'll do the Twilight Princess Zelda. Maybe get the Twilight Bow. I feel like we should try for every stream, because it is like the most unique bow in the game. Excluding the Bow of Light. <laughs> Choose perfectly straight light arrows. Maybe one day we'll get it. But Banana Gem it is. Okay. There we go. Now we can get Mr. Dragon. Have to be close enough because... Oh, actually, that works, too. Ooh, we don't have fire guard stuff. Um, so just make the shot. Stay in bowl time, so it connects. Bada bing. The most consistent thin rough armor spot is the Tabantha Bridge Stable. Sleep to 5 a.m., reaches the bridge at 6.30. It's not too bad. Because you can get, a part, like, a part every, like, minute and a half to two minutes, son. I wish there was a consistent method like there is for, uh, for Roche. The green dragon. But, oh well. Not like you need too many parts anyways, unless you're doing a lot of the special armor upgrades. There we go. I'll take the scale. <laughs> it's right by the shrine, too. Uh-oh. Goodbye, wind gust. The dragons are beautiful, yeah. <laughs> Until you, you know, have to shoot them. And it's like, oh, why do you do that? Cool things about the dragons, though, uh, they, like, go into the sky and, like, retreat into the sky. There's, like, a portal, and you can actually kind of see the tail of one in the Tears of the Kingdom trailer, implying that there is some, like, hidden world in the skies, but you can't access it through normal means. So it could be what Tears of the Kingdom is, um, because, like, he's literally going to fly through a portal, and in the trailer you can see, like, the tail of one of these guys in the background. See? It's like a little portal opens up. A, a pretty big portal, actually, so... There is stuff, you just can't reach it by normal means. Oh, there we go. Need that for a call later. Very good. Very good. And... Alright. 
Also, sorry, uh, Star Fragment. You'd think. Hope. Oh, actually, it wasn't too bad. Feel bad shooting the dragons for that reason? Yeah. They're peaceful. And I can't wait to see what the new game really opens up, though. It's like, just, uh... Well, on top of the lore, I don't know, just really anything. I feel like they're gonna kinda just connect, like, past Zelda things, like with Ganondorf, to more newer things. Obviously, they're really trying to elevate the series, so they don't want to tie it back too much, besides more, like, reference and, uh, you know, don't want to say fan service, but it's cool that it seems to be really going its own direction, you know? A new chain of Zelda games that can be appreciated fully standalone from the rest, but it still caters very well to fans. It's cool. From what I've seen, I like the direction. There's not just too much else to say on it besides just just blatant theory or speculation. Because it's like, you know, as much as I, can, as I can have wishes for new enemies or just different things, it's like, I gotta see the direction that they're going. Uh, and it's bound to be an awesome one. At its very worst, the game can be awesome. So, let's see. At its best, it could even be better than this one. You never know. Oh, wait. I forgot exactly what to do here. Uh, well, that's pretty good. Kind of just thought of that in the moment. Bomb arrows, important. Probably start here. You know, it could have been a bit better. Okay, uh... All right, have to do that. I could have stays as the main platform too, I don't know. That should work beautifully. Beautiful enough? <laughs> yeah, I gotta wait for that. Because based on the way, yeah, you can either stasis that before the wind hits it, or stasis the platform after that all goes away. Right? Yep, okay. We did it right. Yeah. Again, I love all the Revali shrines, Act Run Wind, which only makes sense, but they're nice shrines. All right. Here we go. I'll say, yeah, welcome everyone for tuning into the stream. Hopefully, you're having a good Wednesday. Yeah, we're just about to fight Wind Blight for the, the rematch. And then after this, we just got uh, Daruk section. So, stuff in the volcanic area. And yeah. Okay. Three emblems, go to Meadow. In this rematch, I think it just gives you a bunch of arrows. So, like this one and Fire Blight's rematch are pretty easy. We technically did the two harder ones first, but they're all fun. Okay. Also, just another question about tears. Uh, is there anyone, like, waiting to pre-order the game or buy it until they announce, like, a special edition? Or uh, you're just doing normal? Because I, I believe there's probably going to be a special edition. Like, Nintendo doesn't do that normally, but they did do it for Breath of the Wild. Um, the special edition came with uh, the Sheikah case, which I have somewhere. It is not... Where is it? Uh, damn it. Here it is. It's a, it's a carrying case for the Switch. I showed it before, but it's this. It only came in the special edition of Breath of the Wild, although you can buy dupes on, like, Amazon. They aren't as good, but, uh, yeah. It basically came with the console, and there was also, like, a map and, like, a little soundtrack CD. But the soundtrack CD only had, like, a dozen songs on it, and it was all just kind of the okay ones, like the Talos theme or the battle theme. It didn't have, like, the really good ones, but, uh, yeah, they might do stuff like that. So, like... If you're planning on pre-ordering it, I would say just wait because a lot of places just have pre-orders up right now just to like, you know, take advantage of, you know, the pre-hype. But until you know what the pre-order bonuses are for different stores or if, if you want to get a special edition or not, uh, it is better to hold out. Like, you don't have to pre-order. Games usually don't run out, although that is slightly changing. I know. I think the only game that really does, though, is like occasionally Pokemon games, but it shouldn't be 
too bad in 90% of people's cases if you just buy the game day of or pre-order it a week before, a couple weeks. Mm. Yeah. Base game's fine. Uh, and DLC stuff comes later, too. And they might sell it with the season pass. Who knows? Because I don't. I just, uh, well, like to see where things are coming. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Special edition sounds nice, but expensive. Yeah. Um, well, Breath of the Wild, they did two special editions. There was a special, and then there was a master. The master edition was even more, but it came with, like, a, a cool figurine of a master sword. Um, I, I didn't get that. That Those pre-orders sold out in, like, a day. So, if you want to get a special or master edition, uh, you have to pre-order that immediately. But, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do Windblight. I don't remember the difficulty, but... Uh, 100 arrows for Windblight. Uh... You get some pretty good stuff, you know? Honestly, you really can't stress this fight. Each of these bows has extended range. Um, this one has zoom in. This one has faster draw. This one has a double shot. But they all have the same range stat. So. I shouldn't have done that. I wish I gave you a shield to compare this stuff, but also I get it. They're trying to be like throw a volley fight. You really can't mess this fight up, though, unless you have really bad aim, which, you know, it's okay. Best thing that helps with aim is uh, making sure your gyro's on. Because I know a lot of people struggle to aim in this game sometimes, and usually it's people who turn the gyro off, which is a bad mistake. Uh, I know for some people, just is not feasible. But for most, uh, yeah, as long as just you take the time to learn it for a little bit, it is just so helpful. Oh, okay. This guy's going to be that bad. I can miss half my shots. The skill difference between this and the other blights in Champions Belt is kind of funny. One, two, and three. We still have a little stamina, but still not bad. We hits. Woo! Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, okay. No regen. At least not right away. Nope. He's nowhere to be found. Oh, don't hit me right away. Let me finish the combo. Okay, good. <gasps> he didn't hit me regardless. You weakling. Come on. <laughs> Every shot's making him scoot across the floor like a little Roomba. <laughs> Divine Beast Va Roomba here. I love just how headshots just make him, yeah. They'd be flying. Two. Three. Whoop. And I guess we'll keep doing that. What kind of better damage? Although headshots aren't super good. Ooh, that was a triple attack. I was kind of surprised. <laughs> Sorry, I was saying headshots uh, don't do... The full double damage against this guy. Him and Water Blight, uh, it's only 50% more. Sorry, I'm just going to be a nerd for a moment. Don't mind me. Uh, but yeah, they made it that way to nerf it, so bows aren't super OP. Because they already know they made the flights pretty easy. <laughs> At least these ones. Okay, I vote for the final hit. We chuck the Feathered Edge at him. So that way he can be beaten with the Feather. Ow, okay. No. Just some extra damage. Okay. Final two. Uh. Bye bye. Okay. <laughs> Killed with a feather. That's how pathetic he is. Not really to spite him, more so to just spite Revali. To know that the person who killed him got killed with a, a feathered edge. So. There we go. What controller do I use? This is a Switch Pro controller. Um, it really is my favorite controller of all time. Like, it's so nice. Um, especially if you have bigger hands. Me personally, you can't tell, but I, I do. Also, because I'm tall, I am, like, almost 6'3", and that means I have big hands, and Joy-Cons don't really cut it for me, so... Only occasion where Joy-Cons cut it is if I'm playing, like, very specific games. Like, like handheld Switch I can do with the grip. Um, 
But Mario Odyssey is like the one game I'll always play split Joy-Con because the motion controls are very, uh, well, they're meant for split Joy-Cons. You can't do as much with the Joy with the Pro in that game. But yeah, otherwise, other than Mario Odyssey, it's Pro always. All right. Also, I never owned the Wii U Pro Controller. I heard that's not bad, but it has like the two analog sticks up here. <laughs> Like the reverse PlayStation, which I guess it mirrors like a Wii U gamepad, but I don't think that layout works for a Soul controller. <laughs> Height reveal. <laughs> I'm proud of me for not rounding up. <laughs> well, you know, it's six two and a half, but we, uh, I could say almost six three. It's fine. I had to be careful. I was in a parking garage yesterday and almost clunked my head because there was just a low hanging beam. Uh, or like walking on the sidewalk and there's literally just a, a tree branch that almost stabs me in the eye. Just, it just tell people problems. Uh, it's, it's fine. Oh well. Mm. At least I can grab the cookie jar in the fridge, so we're solid. It all checks out. Never imagined you would do so well. Regardless, Thank you. Gale should be more should more. Can I do something about Trial of the Sword? Um, we will do a Trial of the Sword stream soon. I, I would say within the next couple of weeks, because... That should be the next on the menu. Um, and yeah, in that we can literally do the entire thing in one go. Uh, I'm sure it'll go good. We we'll only have like 13 hearts. We only have the stamina, but we'll prevail. There we go. Revolve scale. Uh, so now faster wing gusts. About half the time's knocked off. But okay. Now just the final one, which is in Elden. Oh, um, wait, it's like here in Elden, I think. Okay. And we can do that shrine while we're at it. There is uh, three enemies in that shrine. We can start with that. Um, it's also up one to the count. Yeah, things are going to go a bit slower right now. Until we get that master cycle, which is soon. Uh, yeah. Also, doing a test of strength will be nice. Revali sounded so dumb with me in the cutscene. Yeah. <laughs> he does not. It just hurts his ego so much that we won. You're worried about Tears of the Kingdom because they haven't published any gameplay. We have like four to six months, uh, a little over three months. And actually, I, I prefer that. I was explaining this in a previous stream, but the less we know about Tears of the Kingdom going into it, the more fresh things are going to be when we first play it. Because like, they don't need to advertise it that much beyond what they already did. Like, people are going to buy the game. We all played this game. Uh, it, won, it won game of the year for most anticipated game. Um, the more gameplay they show, just more is going to be spoiled. So I'm happy with that. Also, I'm almost sure that people are going to watch these VODs uh, after Tears of the Kingdom comes out. So it'll be interesting to, for people, including me, to see uh, what we thought of the game before like everything was announced, really, and came out. Yeah. Plus, yeah, 100 days away. Today is the anniversary of that, so... Yeah. Getting to the end game. Uh-oh. But try not to talk about challenge for a, a Tears of the Kingdom over a 15 minute interval. Oop. Ooh, you have a lot of health, don't you? Okay. A couple of basic hits. She has some decent damage. But that is a bad sword, so. Axe is too OP. Not anymore, it's almost broken. Nice. I'm gonna get the max potential out of it. Here. You're a baby, aren't you? I don't want to waste on a baby guardian. Well, you're all babies, aren't you? Rubbish. <laughs> okay, come here, baby. Oh. You're like a big baby. Do you really want to do this with me? Come on. Okay. <laughs> he needed his own medicine. And a shaft hit. Well, that's it. There's only three enemies in the shrine. 1911. There we go. 
The babies are rubbish. Complete rubbish. Okay, I know that there's like a key. It's kind of a neat puzzle. It's uh... Wait. <laughs> it's something. Okay. Also, I like how it instantly disappears. That always just tripped me up. It's like, oh, up here slowly and then jump. <laughs> Immediately taken away. And then, goodbye. I don't know, I couldn't have retreated back up. Time constraint moment. Okay. Oh. Not bad. Oh. But it keeps going regardless, so it's fine. And then it closes. So I guess you could probably hit it with other methods, not just the ball. I may have done that before. I feel like most of the times I do shrines, it's, it's in a wacky way. And I may have forgot the last time I did in a wacky way. But, you know, it's always cool. Wait, let me try stasis it, then hitting it. I just want to see what happens. Uh, let's try it again. Just out of, like, pure curiosity. Research for the sake of research. No, maybe not. I don't think there's any magnesible object either. Huh. Guess theoretically there is maybe a way. But it involves something a bit wacky. Okay. Also, it's a big entry room. Uh, no, it was like, okay. Like this underbelly. 3,017 enemies left, getting closer, nice. Or around there. Yeah, wow. <laughs> okay, this one should be easy. I guess this it literally starts with... I'm not sure why it starts with, like, that down there. I guess just to be a hole. Um... Well, you know, there's fire arrows, and... If you're in this part of the game, you probably already have them. But just in case you don't, you can do this method. We, we barely got it. It's okay. Or, you know, you could stasis the button. There's a lot of things you could do. Yeah. Or put a campfire on the button. That's my one of my favorite ways. I remember talking about it in a... Uh, for some reason, campfires are so heavy in the game that you can act as, like, button weights for switches. But I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the updraft itself. Because updrafts just have like a heavy bottom. I don't know how the physics engine exactly does it, but I heard something like that before, which could make sense. All right, more orbs. We did three normal shrines today, three uh, DLC ones. For a lover of the drill shaft, clap your hands. It needs more praise than that. It needs a whole audience. <laughs> I'm only myself. There we go. All of them. Then there's that shrine. Okay. I'm just going to quickly... Well, yeah, quickly uh, equip that. We didn't even get the top piece. So I was like, nah. You only need the top piece if you're going for the actual buff. Or the set bonus. Which, I'm not planning on it. Because that's just more work. <laughs> Right now, we're doing the slow part of a very brutal challenge run. But the more shrine enemies we get, the less we have to do later. Also, that was a Korok. Not bad. Probably do at least one more big wave of weapon slot gathering. Just so I can carry more funny weapons. Uh, you know? <laughs> Half the slots can be jewel shafts and long throw throwing spears. But you never know what you're going to get. Like right there, Champion's Bell platform. I guess there's some cool little secrets. Oh, hi. <laughs> Love the rock sculptures. It's a thumbs up. <laughs> it's all the different Gorons on the wall. It's a face. Yeah. Oh, pretty much. 
It makes sense. If they carved their city out of stone, might as well uh, show some credit to the originals, you know? The past leaders. Yeah, Gorons is one of those species that just, you know, they're always the ones you can rely on in Zelda games. And in the context of, they're like in so many different games and they're actually good NPCs. Because like in other Zelda games, like Zoras, for an example, uh, not all of them are good. Like in a lot of the older games, Zoras were actually enemies, so. But Gorons have always been chill. I don't think Gorons have always been, ever been bad. And I'm pretty sure besides Hylians, they're in the most Zelda games. Like, I, I want to say that's right. Someone can fact check me on that, but I think that is, which is cool to know. We're doing so wonderful. So you know what we're gonna do? Uh, screw the bomb. Wind bombing's not our day. What? We have the means to gale. We have quite a few gales too. Hey, last of four champion quests. Then after this, we can do the final trial. And yeah, well, the master cycle make everything very nice. <laughs> Want the Wind Waker Zelda amiibo so bad? Huh? They're all so cool. I think they're doing a restock for the new game, but uh, I guess we'll have to see. Sometimes you can find them online a lot easier than stores. Uh, even sometimes with like Amazon, you can buy like the Japanese versions, which are identical besides the packaging for like the same price. So I think a few of mine are the Japanese ones, but they're the same, so. All right, um, I'm gonna get more Amiibos, so let me be back. I will grab, like, um, the, yeah, I'll do this one. <laughs> I'm gonna be incognito about the names. Mm. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm grabbing three. There we go, I grabbed my three. Is that light? Okay. Oh. We can scan these in afterwards. Because honestly, getting some fun rewards would be cool. Fireproof elixir. Yep, that's what we did. <laughs> like, there has to be a reason of, of how Cass is here. He has to state that he actually took a, an elixir, so we're not just wondering. <laughs> Amiibo 2 or now. Well, they're kind of all behind my green screen. But, I mean, <laughs> close thing to that's in my Amiibo run. Or individual. So as Cass sings a song, uh, we're going to do... Majora's Mask Link. See, he has the Goron Mask, so it's fitting. Uh, maybe gets the Fierce Daddy Armor. Uh, we have Twilight Princess Ganondorf. Maybe the Sword of Six Sages, because that's a cool one. And he drops a uh, fun assortment of like money and stuff, too. And uh, last but not least, Ocarina of Time Link. They don't show up too good because the green screen. Uh, it's green, not helpful. Link, you're, we're streaming today. You're not supposed to wear green. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll see. Again, like, everything's a low chance. Even when we did the amiibo runs, like, well, there's, like, 25 Zelda amiibo, and, like, at best, we got, like, four exclusive items. Uh, which isn't, honestly, that bad. The odds are just low. Mm. But yeah, both were very fun. I know, I know the first one was, like, the OG, but, uh, yeah, the one we did a little over a month ago was awesome. So I'm happy we did it a second time much harder. Uh, because, yeah, it's, that was honestly one of my favorite runs I did. Well, yeah, let's actually do that. Uh, we'll start with Ganondorf, going in whatever order. Nice. Only one way to open these things. There we go. <laughs> Chest Force. Get the blue rupees. Ooh, two for one. <laughs> Identicals, pretty much. And... Oh, arrow, okay. Some miscellaneous. Let's see, we... Okay, now. But fitting that's a Gerudo weapon, Ganondorf. Um, ooh, long throw weapon. These are good for throwing long. Yep. Okay, yeah, might as well just take it. It's not so, so good. It has long throw, so it's the next to go. <laughs> I'm not learning. Ocarina of Time Link is the next one. Um, this one, either Big Oran's sword, which is like the best sword in Ocarina of Time, or uh, his armor. Yep. Guess we'll see. Well, you know, I can't complain about that. <laughs> That's a good weapon. So you know what we do? Throwing along. Okay. And for this final one, we're going to save it for... Hmm. 
Well, I guess we have another long throw. Yeah, let's let's dispose of that next, just in case. Uh, Majora's Mask, maybe Fierce Deity Armor or the Sword, which has attack up. Whoop. Fierce Deity Armor is cool because it has the same exact uh, upgrade requirements as Barbarian. Yep. Just a different look. Not getting lucky with the, the exclusives today. Those are fifth amiibo. We'll get something. If we keep going, I at least want to get one. But okay, for these, um, I didn't even look at the map, but I know where they are. Um, there's a boss fight we can do here. Lake Darman. Uh, there's a race, and then there's a thing we got to do here in Dart Pond. So I'm going to start with this boss fight, because that can be kind of cool. Okay. And around the area, there should be some enemies. I'll be at not too many, because there never is. Um, okay. That is Igneto Telus Titan. <laughs> Almost attack on Titan time. It's also a rock octo platform that I don't believe I visited before. And there is a stretch of enemies. Hmm. One second. Actually, yeah. Just to do something as we go, I might take on the stretch, but... You know, then again, these guys also have amazing weapons. So I don't... When we have ready full weapon slots, I don't like taking on really weak guys that have good stuff. So we'll do that uh, a little after. Plus, this guy's in the way. So let's uh, take him out. Yeah, there's also the race right there. It's like, I, I could do the race. I'm a man of my ward. <laughs> Start with this, then we'll do the race next. The race is fun because it involves paragliding. Not something you expect your rook to do. Unless you paid unless you played Age of Calamity. Imagine if they made a, a Kuko amiibo? Yes. Okay, honestly having more like the silly amiibos could be very fun though. Like on a note like that. A Kuko amiibo? Hell yeah. I mean I, I know they'll never be cool enough to do it like a drill shaft amiibo or bread, but uh yeah, a, a cuckoo would be funny. You know, just be a chicken, but obviously super important. Uh, coolest thing we have is the Bacoblin amiibo, because that one's pretty funny. You know, because it's a Baco Bacoblin. They're, they're great. And don't know when the, the ham amiibo's coming, but, uh, you know. He was just on top of my PC this time, so. Yeah, ham. Okay, Titan's over here. There's a baby Titan right here, actually. Should we kill him? Yeah. Let's start with the small game first. That could be fun. There we go. Melts right away. And... Start out with the bang? Yeah. We have the smasher. There we go. Oh! Whoa! We're burning up fast, though. Ow. That was going amazingly until that happened. Okay. Make the shot count. The hammer weapons are going to melt. Oh. Hey. Not bad. Little opals around. And for this one, goodbye. Back full fry at the end. <laughs> Stylishly retreat. Flint's my favorite. Three rubies. And uh, minerals. And mineral, I mean rock seasoning. Yep. Wow. You know what? It's pretty common to break a normal deposit and get one rock salt. But the odds of that happening identically three times in a row is a bit more odd. Okay. We killed the baby and now it's time for the dad. Of all the titans. Should we start with the same thing? Oh. Already alerted. Here, I'm gonna start until after that's done. Oh, what the? Okay, uh, we seem to be safe, right? Okay, yep. Now let's do it. You have a lot of health, I know you do. Whoop. Nice, okay. <laughs> and that fries him, okay, <laughs> yep. Jump attack, not in the lava, nope. <laughs> You're right, he's gonna fall forward. I knew that. 
Up here. Oh, come on. Guess it's only fair and he's going to throw his rock at me. Far. Okay. Please be gentle. Killer damage. Uh. <laughs> yep. And there is my favorite part. The regen. Okay. While you do that, I will actually spare you one ice arrow because you need to stop <laughs> Whoop. Uh, I'm trying to be careful rather than brutish here. Yeah. Take care of him fast. Okay. Goodbye, Titan. There we go. Um, me making sure I updated my count after everything. Okay. So you can mark off both taluses. One for one. 13. Okay. Again, not a very fast count because we still got to finish this DLC. Yeah. In terms of this, I don't think there's any enemies in these champion battle shrines besides uh, two of them in the plateau. But the final trial has mm, a 10 enemies in total. I had to think. There's nine in the shrine or in, in the dungeon and the boss is one too. 15 enemies away from 3,000. Nice. We're getting so close. Moving targets. Um, that can be done. Could I wind bomb over it? Um, I could, in fact. You know what? We'll take longer or shorter. I guess we'll find out. Maybe a bit shorter. <laughs> okay. Well, that's nice. Oop. Whatever that skip was. I love the little uh, paraglider um, or the shield surf skips, you know? It just looks funny. Okay, now we can do the next ones. Um, one's a race, one involves a puzzle. In fact, is that the same formula as all of them? I'm trying to think. I know all of them have a race. Um, yeah, maybe. Yeah, you know, I didn't even think of it like formulaic. Um, for the champion trials, there's one race, one puzzle, and one combat thing. Um, so for a volley, the race would have been the shield surf. The puzzle would have been the uh, the waiting for the dragon, which is only just kind of a puzzle. It was more of a riddle. Um, we just know what to do. And then the combat one would be the flight range, which kind of stretches the meaning, but it's still combat, which is against still things. Um, and then, yeah, for Mifa, it's the waterfall race. It would be, for the puzzle, it would be the... Uh, you have to wait at morning and then go to like the sun, the, the sunrise or whatever. And then for combat, it would be taking on the guardians. For Urbosa, there's a sand seal race. There is a combat trial where you have to take down the Muldu King. And then the Yika hideouts, I guess that could be considered more combat. Um, well, it's more like stealth. So that's less of a puzzle, but it kind of fits the mold um, in terms of the trifecta. And then this is going to be a race, a puzzle, and combat. So. So yeah, that is kind of cool. I, I don't know, I didn't think of it that way. Like, I always knew about that each one had their own race. But I guess putting it in that perspective, it's like, yeah, that does make more sense. Uh, it just, the desert kind of stretches that rule a bit more, but it's close enough. It's on a formula without feeling formulaic. So I like the variety. It tests different stats of uh, the champions. So after all, it's supposed to be their tests. Not too bad. I feel like loss of stamina could be a problem. Ooh, okay. We got that actually kind of perfectly. Um, for this one... Yep, loss of stamina still can be an issue. No, I feel like you could do this one wheel. There we go. <laughs> that one's the issue if you don't get it near the top half. Or like anywhere but the bottom, you might not have enough height to do it. It totally depends, though, on your momentum. That time we did it by a long shot. But okay, not bad. This shrine, and then one more. And then we got the Blight rematch, and then the final dungeon, and that's it. So, it'll be awesome. I'm actually going to grab another amiibo while we're waiting. Uh, well, in the next loading screen. Also, 200 likes in the stream. Thank you, guys. Uh, 
our eventual goal is 600, so I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for being here, as always. Uh, you were finally getting to, like, the ends of, uh, well, the DLC stuff, which is less kill-heavy. So this is definitely the most tame the run has been and is going to be because there's just a lot of in and out. Because I'm hoping for everything after the Master Cycle will be faster because we have the Master Cycle. So we can go zoom in. <laughs> also, that was a nice grab. I like this shrine. Yeah. See, the A button's nice. Here we go. Favorite Breath of the Wild YouTuber? Thank you. <laughs> no more waiting for this. We can just get, grab another amiibo. We'll have time. Uh, you know, what do we got? We got some fun ones. What were you talking about? Um, ooh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Doing fine, right? Yeah, we're doing just fine. Okay. I grabbed some. Don't go rolling off. And we can make the next one. Cool. See? Perfect. <laughs> you didn't even know which amiibos I grabbed because it's a su surprise. Also, you know, I didn't think of... Wait. Did I cut this one for enemies? I don't think so. There we go. He's dead. He's dead. And perfect eye shots. I'm going to check my map really quick, actually. Oh. You know what? I never counted that as an enemy. Because I think they randomly respawn. We're going to wind bomb, actually, though, because it's kind of more funny. Yeah, I think those guys respawn or something because they're actually not on the map, like the object map, if we look. Um, they're here. And if you look, yeah, Dungeon 130, there is no sign of it? That's, yeah, that's very odd. So I feel like if they randomly respawn, the reason why I wouldn't be counted as an enemy is because there's an actual, like, spawner. It's sort of like how there's, like, the eyeballs, like the, like those malice eyes, but they keep spawning, like, the skulls. I think it's like a same ordeal. So we could count that? I, hmm. If we counted it, we would have to up the count by three because I didn't count that in my 4928. Um, we'll think on that. How about that? Because I want to see how it works. If it's just a one-time spawn and for some reason it wasn't an object mapped, we'll add three to both. Um, if not, we'll keep as is. Just so we can be thorough. Because we added things like sentries and eyeballs to the map. Ooh, that was nice. Oh, wow. Okay. <gasps> yeah. That was, yeah, really good. Am I going to make these streams into a video? Not like a full-length challenge run. There's just going to be so much footage to work with. And honestly, with tears like coming up, our goal is just to finish this playthrough before that. Um, editing the whole thing definitely will, will be a no. But there will be a type of video just... Just overviewing the whole run, maybe showing some highlights, talking about different things that we did. So it won't be formatted like a challenge run, but more so kind of like a, like an overview slash highlights video. Because I, I do want to do something for this playthrough. Usually for our play, like our long playthroughs, we don't do any sort of video. So this time I want to do something because um, our first like actual full playthrough of a game that's not a run that we'll do highlights for um, will be Tears, uh, Tears of the Kingdom. So when we stream that, we'll be streaming that like a. Uh, Almost every day, every other day for like that first month easily. Um, no set schedule, but it'll be on YouTube, maybe post game on Twitch. Uh, all of that like properly announced soon. But yeah, in the meantime, uh, we'll be streaming it and then I'll make little highlights of it for people who don't want to watch the whole streams and people playing it for the first time too. So yeah, that'll, that'll be fun. Because yeah, there's going to be a lot to absorb. I, uh, I have no, you know, strategy or thought going into it. It's more so just, I've I've been a fan for too long, and with only having this game for the last six years, I'm just gonna be in my own world for a bit. So, but it'll be a great time because still be able to stream it and everything. And uh, yeah, I I didn't even have a channel back when Breath of the Wild came out. We put like two entire playthroughs in before I did anything with the channel. Ooh, Dart Pond. Okay, so this next riddle is like, uh, you just basically have to stand on a, a ring that's floating on top of lava. 
in order to do that you need to like move boxes sorry i haven't been going like totally in depth to this because it's like the point of this is just to quickly kind of like burn through it so we can get to the really fun stuff also i guess there's a hammer here Ooh. yes so this is like the one playthrough where we're not like really focusing on dialogue or like little riddles because it's like it's more challenge oriented Okay. Yep, Dar Pond. Don't ask why I remember half these names like very vividly, but I do. Okay, so yeah, metal boxes, um, Gorons. Oh, Korok, okay. Didn't expect that. Mm. Gorons want to see me stand on lava, but I am not Goron. I guess there's... But wait a second. Is what you're supposed to do standing on the... Or pushing the boulders? I always just made like a little tower out of this, you know? Um, It's a possibility. Also, there is two enemies here. I might as well nab them. It's you. Okay. That's the first. I don't need the spear, but that is the... Kind of a better one. Uh, But spears are still... A little yucky. Yeah, I assume for this shrine, maybe you can just, uh, you know, push this and push the boulders. You know, I've played this so many times, but I never thought to do this. I didn't really pay attention to the, that these were like boulders, because I thought they were just kind of like still rocks that were higher. Don't ask. But I guess it makes sense, right? Usually we just stack crates. But while standing on the crate, since it's very close, you still take damage, so... Huh. Yeah, no, that does make sense. I'll, I'll give it that. Oh, let's, uh... Here. Oh, I see. Oh, let's even make a little bridge. I never even thought to do this. I'm gonna be fully honest. And then, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, then you can go like this, right? <laughs> I never did this this way in, like, the... Probably half a dozen times I did Champions Belt, at least. Ah, damn it, but only problem is if you fail, you go back a little bit. Not too bad, we just gotta move it again. So we'll, we'll make it perfect this next time. You take a little damage just from, you know, dipping your legs in the lava. So it's not the safest route, but. Would this be like the intended way or... I don't know. There's no, no such thing as intended way in Breath of the Wild. I thought we had that. I want to say my other method's a little better, personally. Oh wait, yeah. Final go. I'm sure we can get it. I just think it's neat that we can do this. So... It's in, like, slightly too deep water, because the bottom's a little uneven. There we go. Okay. Whoop. Little hop. Nice. I don't think we need to make a perfect land to center. Just centered enough. So we're just going to do that. Nice. Well, that time I caught it instantly. I know if you just fall through it, it won't count, so... Here we go. Oh, wow, I just noticed my health right now. You know, is Mifa's grace active? We can just let that kick in. I'm fine with that. Yeah, Mifa, do your thing. Beats having to cook every two seconds. Also, yeah, it's only an eight minute recharge, so we're good. All right, let's do this once more. Another Titan. <laughs> Is it on the back? It's not. Okay, good. Rampage. Woo. We don't even have a full attack buff. We're doing great. Nice. 
I mean, 72 damage weapon. We could use that, but it's fine. Mm. Yeah, okay. We didn't miss much. No, it's just a strain. We can scan those amiibos that we were talking about earlier, though. Sorry, I went off on a tangent. <laughs> After a little Goron discourse. Hello, how do you do? Lord Druk train here. Pump it up, brother! <laughs> the guards are just hype beasts. Like, <laughs> the Hylian hype beasts. I love them. What happened? Yep. Feel the burn. They weren't done training with it, uh. It's okay. We're powering up just like you. Getting swole. In our own way, we just got chunky armor. The closest thing we're gonna get to Goron armor in this game. It does the job. Okay. Um, yeah, there's the last shrine. So let's do some amiibos before it. Um, I just really want to get at least one exclusive thing today. We grab three. First one is Zelda from Wind Waker. This one can potentially uh, get us the hero shield, which is very cool. Um, it is the uh, first shield from Wind Waker. Whoop. Maybe Death Mountain's a bad place to do this. Yeah. Opals aren't nice, but pumpkin, yeah. I love pumpkins. Okay, next one will be the, uh, well, the equivalent. It's the Wind Waker Link, but anniversary. So these ones came in like a little set. This one maybe for the Seabreeze Boomerang, which we only got that like once in a playthrough. Uh, it's basically what carried our second Amiibo run. It was very nice, so helpful. Actually, that is good, you know why? You know, we can't hold it, but well, that is long throw. Okay. <laughs> Same damage one-handed. I'm sorry, Knight's Claymore, you are a good weapon. I, I believe you are, but we have good, much better two-handed weapons. Yep. That's fine. Okay. Well, this next one can't drop exclusives. I wanted to scan in because it's funny. We're talking about it. Yep. The closest thing to the funny amiibo. The Bokoblin. At best, it's only going to get us a Dragon Bone. But... This guy is like one of the few Meebles that guarantee drops a weapon. So if you need a weapon, you drop him. Um, and this one's actually the bow. Well, it'll be a weapon, bow, or shield. In the early game, uh, spiked. Later game, dragon bone. Um, we don't even need that, though. I kind of just want to do it for the, the, the... Just the sense of doing it, I guess. That's a valid reason. You order the, the 25 Zelda Amiibo cards. Nice. Yeah, if you guys want Amiibos in your own playthrough, like, obviously, like, the figurine Amiibos are awesome. And I justify them because, um, you know, I want to collect at least one cool thing in my life, and that was the one I chose. And, uh, you know, but still it's pricey. But if you want the Amiibos for the effect, literally, like, Amazon sells, like, the whole list of them for about, like, a dollar a card. So you can get all of them for the price of, like, not even two Amiibos. Assuming the price values didn't change. Also, I really wish we had a blizzard rod for the shrine because you can actually ignore the fire that way. Oh. I don't think you can jump. Yeah, business expense. <laughs> Thank you, Platinum. Whoosh. There we go. Yeah, we did it previously, but uh, if you have a blizzard rod and you make a little blizzard, you can quickly run past it and it negates the uh, effects of the fire. This is like the one a few times where we don't have a blizzard rod, though. And blizzard rods don't drop from like any... Well, I mean, they drop from blizzard robes. There's some chest ones, I think, but... No amiibos get you a blizzard rod or anything like that. Also, I was randomly thinking, uh, I saw some my st stuff on my Discord server too, but in terms of new types of rods to be in the next Zelda game, um, I know like the classic rods, there was like, I think it was you, Platinum, who mentioned something about Tornado Rod. I, uh, correct me if I'm wrong about that, but like, I don't know, Return of those classic rods could be very nice. Also, what am I doing wrong here? <laughs> Sorry, I kind of forgot the puzzle. Don't mind me. Oh yeah, there's two. Okay, my bad. Like, how did I forget this? Um, it happens. Nope. 
You need to be just a little, a little more. Okay, thank you. Because from here you could potentially win bomb. If you're feeling creative. Oh, was you who said tornado rod? Okay, sorry. I was like, I hope I didn't remember that wrong. Also, long throw is yucky. I don't care if it's a good weapon. We're spiting long throw. Okay. Um. I, don't, I can't win Bob from here. Apparatus, my favorite. I think this is the only apparatus in uh, all the DLC. Right? I don't think there's any other apparatus. I'm gonna be honest. Boink. Rock surf. <laughs> only radiant shield things. You remember the sand rod existed? Oh yeah. <laughs> sand rod was like literally a thing you could like push up sand uh, to make layers. So it was basically cryonis for the sand, now that I think about it. Like I don't think there's a better description than that. Um, I only remember it from Link Between Worlds. Yeah, A Link Between Worlds, and I don't remember... I don't even remember A Link to the Past, what it had. I, I'm gonna be fully honest, it's been so long. Uh, but yeah, Sand Rod is literally Cryonis for the sand. So, I don't know, like the open world setting, maybe it wouldn't make too much sense, because I couldn't think of too many areas where it's viable. Maybe a Desert Temple, honestly. So if the new game has that, that'll make sense. But like the overworld, if the desert stays too much the same, yeah. Stand on us. <laughs> nice. Okay, um, we have all three. Now it is the three match. So let's go do that. I think that'll be nice for us. Yeah. Fighting Fire Blight, I think it gives you... Well, it gives you enough weapons. That's all that matters. Um, and then, yeah, we can go straight to the final trial. Or we can even take, like, one pit stop. Maybe, uh... Hmm. Maybe we'll take on, like, a major test of strength or something. We can get some good weapons from there. Um... Take those into the trial, maybe with a good, you know, food buff or whatever. I don't say anything like that could be good. Okay. First things first, though, let's take on Firelight. For the second and last time. Be useful when they implement like, quicksand? Okay. Oh, like getting out? Okay. Also, we know from the trailer that the desert is going to be whack in that storm cloud. Oh, there is a storm cloud on the desert. Okay. You know, that's a detail I totally forgot about until you mentioned it. Yeah. A lot of the map's very crazy. I know, like, the background of the jungle, there's another sort of storm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it feels like the new game's gonna be one huge remix of Breath of the Wild stuff on top of all this new stuff. So, it's an interesting direction for sure. Um, interesting that they didn't start from a pure clean slate, but obviously there's a valid reason for it. Um, I don't think the goal is to recycle the Breath of the Wild map, more so remix it in a very cool way while also adding new stuff where the new mechanics are going to make it really stand out. Anyone know what's the most common enemy in this run? Um, I want to say... I want to I want to say it might be a Sky Octorok, honestly, because every single platform has three to four of them. Um, besides those, though, because those are kind of the pushover ones, I feel like there is, it's pretty close to like a, maybe like 15 to 20% of the enemies are Sky Octoroks. But beyond that, I'm pretty sure it's Pacoblins. I can do a test later uh, on the object map. But I want to say uh, Pacoblins are the most prevalent enemy in this game. Okay, we have five Ice Arrows. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty close. What are we dealing with? Oh. Just a boulder breaker, okay. But we have a knight's bow with, yeah. So really just bombs and breaker. Uh, and then arrows for regen. Okay, sorry, that was not good, I, I am aware. <laughs> but this is, this and meadow are very easy fights for the rematches. Gotta be still pretty quick. I like the rematches because it limits you, but I guess the thing that does suck is, yeah, you, you can't use all the strategies because you don't have a shield. Also, second time where Bolsa's Fury didn't go through. I think it was too late in the combo or something. There we go. That's not what I meant to do, obviously. 
Okay, we're just fooling around with them. Maybe it would be helpful if we didn't. Okay, that works too. Now we just have no more. Uh, so let's make the rest count. <laughs> let's do the Stethless. We shall. I forgot to mention, but uh, our goal was to do originally the one hit Obliterator Trial Deathless, which we did for our very first time. But we're trying to extend it to all of Champions Belt. So if you don't die during this in the final trial, we would have literally done Champions Belt Deathless. Which is good considering that there is two sections where we can get one shot. One hit Obliterator and uh, Yiko Clan round two. Okay. We're gonna lose boss a little bit. There we go. Yeah, th this one's gotta be easier than volley. You don't have, even have to have good aim. Oh. I didn't even have a shield to deflect that. I think the only fight that gives you a shield is uh, Urbosa. Which I'm glad that one does at least. Come on, get him. Goodbye. <laughs> These fights feel very casual now because they just made them so easy. Also, yeah, it's basically normal mode difficulty minus the regen. So. Which is why this and Wind Blight are very easy because you don't got to worry about that. But Water Blight's hard because it doesn't give you a lot of range stuff and there's a lot more downtime in that fight. Oh, Platinum, there are over a thousand Bacoblins and only 838 Octoroks. Oh, so Bacoblins are the most. Okay. You know, that makes more sense when you put it that way. I just, uh, initially, I thought I was at first, like, overthinking the amount of Bacoblins. Uh, but yeah, they're definitely over a thousand makes sense. So it does mean that there's more Lizelf or more Octoroks, specifically Sky. Oh, wait, for Octoroks, are you counting Sky Octoroks or all of them? Sorry. Because will that change things at all? I don't know. But yeah, sorry, as I was saying, there's about a little over 700 of the Zolfos. Alright, I love the cutscenes, but we haven't been skipping in this run. Because we gotta take this to the DLC finale here. Favorite champions, a tie between Urbosa and Rivali. Which, also just to let you know, we do have a lot of, uh, in terms of like my favorite things in this game, I answered most of them in the channel fact that we have in the description. So, if you want to give that a read, we updated it today as well. Um, yeah. Because it's helpful, and uh, yeah, just like most commonly, frequently asked things. But alright, Moskoshia, must commend you for conquering the trial thus far. The door to the final trial is now open at the Shrine of Resurrection. <laughs> so cool, just all work began. Oh. But Coblins will never spawn dynamically, so functionally, Octoroks are more common. But even counting Sky Octoroks, Bokos have more. Oh, that makes sense. And yeah. Because the normal Octorox, there's not a lot of static. There's just a lot of randomly spawned dynamic ones. That makes sense. Okay. Um, before we go there, though, I'm going to conquer a test of strength. Because that could be kind of fun. Um, first, let's get us some stuff. There is a fairy fountain. Maybe some food. Just take a pit stop. We can also just take the shrine all the way, too. It's that one training shrine. Uh, see how fast we can rush it. Just really quickly. Well, it's day for the stream, but binge watching Second Wind. Nice, have fun. Yeah, I don't know if Second Wind's getting its next big update before the new game, but either way, we'll be streaming it when it comes out. Because um, I know that there is a lot planned for the new Second Wind update, including more like cave stuff. So I guess we'll see. What's the hardest challenge I've completed? I, in terms of difficulty. The Royal Guard run doing the uh, the castle clear at the end was pretty tough because there was a lot of pairing involved. Um, the beginning of the ancient run, but honestly, for that, I I could say like like top answers for sure. Um, the two most recent, the skeleton run and the amiibo version two, because both of those runs were probably the easiest to fail. Like obviously, there's hard stuff in the other runs, but those two runs I could have easily failed based on the rules that I set. Because uh, oh, I'm reloading that. <laughs> that was bad. 
Sorry, as I was saying, uh, the skeleton run was permadeath, so obviously that would have been not good. Um, especially made the beginning harder because we didn't have any good armor. The amiibo version round two, or amiibo run two, we uh, we didn't allow rerolls. So if we got bad loot or didn't use our loot effectively, we would have lost the run to attrition. So wouldn't have what weapons to, uh, you know, beat everything. Also, there's four fairies here. I, I don't know how I choked it, but we did. Also, it, it turns out my champion abilities, but we're actually going to return these back off. They're fine when taking down big uh, health enemies, but during normal combat, I don't like playing with that. Okay. If he's not going to cooperate, I'm going to make him. Uh, wait. Whoop. Okay. <laughs> actually, a good overall use of stasis. Okay, what do you got, fairy? If I fail a run, do I redo it, or is that the end? Um, I guess it depends. The goal is to finish the runs, so it would really suck if we did fail it, but that's why I try to only do runs that I'm confident I can win. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't want to be in that boat, but we'll have to decide then. But we have failed one run once. It was the uh, first beating all enemy camps before the bl first Blood Moon. So a bit different from this. We just took down... The enemy camps that had, uh, like, treasure chests attached to them. So there's only, like, 40-some. Like, all the big camps. Uh, the first time we did fail it, but the second time we succeeded. And that was all in the video. So, yeah. Like, like technically, we will do them. I just, I try to make them in a way so, you know, we won't fail it near the end. If we do fail, it's near the beginning. Uh, besides that run. But that was a pretty quick run, so it's okay. Okay, we got some of that. I will, uh, well, I'll make the food after we do the shrine. One enemy in here, it's the, uh, one test of strength where it's more of a, you know, a lesson in strength. Because we get to learn things. Say so the final part of the DLC is the hardest thing you've done in the game. Yeah. No, it honestly is pretty tricky. Um, if you don't know how the puzzles work, and especially the boss. I feel like, in my opinion, it might be the, uh, just Trial of the Sword in general. Which, uh, I mean, especially a Master Mode has even increased difficulty, but on a normal playthrough, it's still tough. I think one of my luckiest achievements in the game is that, uh, when I first played Trial of the Sword, it was the day it came out. So my normal mode saved, because Master Mode came out that same day. I did manage to beat it on my first go. I did not die somehow. I think I was just very uh, happy that the thing came out and I was just having to be playing very well. It was only a few months after Breath of the Wild came out and uh, yeah, still my first playthrough. I beat it on the first go. On Master Mode though, it took about 20 attempts, uh, but you know, that's, that's a different story. <laughs> I think that's the one thing that really helped me get it good at the game was originally trying to beat it in Master Mode because I really had to use everything resourcefully. Also, what did you say? Flurry rush? I'm I was I was talking, not paying attention. <laughs> okay. Just hit him once, don't need to waste that durability. Do a backflip. <laughs> Little Link looks around. Yeah. Just gotta hit him once then. Don't need to unleash a whole combo into him. And a parry. I think it teaches you parries and spin attacks too. So, four things in case you didn't know them. So, it's nice that it has this. You know, there's always one thing, uh. Well, <laughs> there's one thing about the game that I always was a little confused by. If you ever missed Hestu leading up to Kakariko Village, let's say you took a different route, um, do you just not know about Cork seeds then? Like, I haven't encountered many of those people, but, like, is there something else in the game that tells you about Hestu in case you haven't met him yet? Um, because I wouldn't know. We always get Hestu pretty soon. Um, because, like, he's pretty hard to miss, but people will still miss him, you know? Also, we're going to quick spin. Oh. 
There we go. Quick spins do the trick. I don't think it's neat that you can do. But yeah, sorry. That Hestu thing's still kind of a... It's a pestering thought in a way, because it's like... Yeah, there definitely has to be people that missed Hestu before and then just didn't know about upgrading until they looked it up. Maybe it's a thing... Like, if you go to Korok Forest the first time, um, maybe that has to... I don't, I don't think the quest will skip, no? Like, you have to do that quest with the Maracas, otherwise Hestu won't be there. There's nothing to tell you. Those people... There are people who genuinely miss them. That must suck. Because, like, if you just never go up that path, which, you know... If you have the Kakariko Warpoint because you got there another way, that path is virtually useless unless you happen to stumble across it. You didn't find Hestu until months into your playthrough. Wow. You know, in a way that's scary, because uh, I'm thinking about the new game now, and what if there's like a Hestu equivalent in the sense that there's a very important NPC that he could be in the beaten path, but maybe I didn't take it. And there's this like a very common mechanic in the game I did not know about. Uh, <laughs> that would be very funny if we run to that boat and I just didn't know. And we're like, we completed an entire playthrough and I'm like, oh, you can upgrade this very common ability and I just didn't know that awesome um be, just be a part of that one percent of players didn't know until you know start looking stuff up about the game so yeah isn't that just more fun though i mean i feel like for everything else yes but has to has to such an important uh just will provide such an important service in the game that i feel like not discovering him does a disservice like for like almost everything else it's cool that you can discover things but for such a key mechanic like slots because you start with so few i feel like that is an important thing to see at least so i feel like that's the one exception where it's not good if players miss them in, in terms of just like the grand scheme of just having to drop your weapons all the time you know it's like the one rare exception <laughs> has to supremacy has to is awesome <gasps> sorry thinking about has to Wonder if Hestu can do the Korok one for me. Uh, thank you, Hestu. People don't don't even realize that there's more than one great fairy at first, too. That's surprising, but honestly, I can see it. I mean, only one of them is very clear. Uh, the rest are a tad more hidden. But, I mean, that's cool, because, like, you know... It's helpful the more you find, but never really required. And it's pretty common that you'll find at least two in your playthrough, so... Especially Tabantha or Akala. Especially Tabantha, maybe. Okay, sorry. I just want to cook these radishes. A uh, couple attack buffs. Not that we really need that. Um, but you never know what we're going to do. There you go. Endura, because we definitely need that for the climbs. What do you hear about Hestu when you get the... When you go to the Lost Woods and get the Master Sword? Surely some of the Koroks may talk about him? That could be possible. Hmm. Honestly, it could be possible. Like, maybe there is something that leads there. I, I never thought about it. I just never done it. And, I mean, hey, you know, even like six years after the game came out, people are still finding things. Like, what if there is actually a Korok or something in the forest that tells you about Hestu uh, before you find them? It is possible. It's just not very common for people to go to the forest uh, before doing Hestu normally. And even like very common things for some people, other people may not know about. Like, you know how normally in challenge runs we do, uh, like, well, we usually don't do like Impa, Pira, like all that, uh, before the Divine Beast. We just go to the Divine Beast. Um, well, in a case like that, what if we, uh, well, sorry, let me rephrase that. Usually if you don't do that stuff, like if you don't do Impa before Divine Beast, there's a special dialogue sequence where Zelda tells you about the Divine Beast because you didn't hear it from Impa, like when you get to the villages or whatever. Um, most people don't know about that. It's just the fact that we happen to do Divine Beast before Impa. Um, so I remember like recently I was making pretty big headlines on like news sites that if you don't go to Impa before the Divine Beast, you get special dialogue from Zelda, who, whom she tells you about the beast instead. So yeah, it's very interesting, you know. What's common knowledge for one person may be completely new and just a discovery to someone else. And I think that's awesome too. But cool that we have the internet to see what's common, what's not. Also, anyways, uh, sorry, I was doing this just while we were talking. We're going to a test of strength. I feel like that'll be cool to kill out. We didn't do one yet, and that's in the title, so I feel like that's a, a sin.
3,014 enemies seems like a lot. We've come a long way. We have. Okay. We're going to do the funny really quick. Nope. Damn it. I feel like I had to go one further. I was trying to get in the pit again. Wait, can I do that? Yeah, I think I can. This guy's got all weapons. Sorry, just for the funny. It, it's been a while since we did this. Uh, I think I was one too far back. Basically, you can't even get... Well... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, let me rephrase. If you're not standing on the ground or a crown's block... It won't trigger the thing until you do. There we go. As long as you're before that that line, that fourth crack. So you can be one tile in, two tile in, three tile in. Make the crownless block in the fourth. And then from there, you can go like that. And from there, you can go like that. Okay. That gets us a bit more. See? Much better. And as long as you're not standing on it. There we go. <laughs> That's a tricky one. Once you do that, you're pretty good, though. It's off to a good weapon. Um, That's a pretty good weapon. You can just get really close and personal. Uh, if you look in the pet, there is nothing. So they lied to us. <laughs> he spawns in with the elevator. Yeah, just right there should be fine. Okay. No, it's not a guardian that's coming up. It's me too. Haha. <laughs> oh, we're perfectly behind. Menacing eyes. There we go. Get a nice hit in him. I don't think you can be hitting it though. Yep. You have to start. There. Oh. Uh. Yeah, that's fine. Here, how about you go on that? Just for the funds. How about that? No? Oh, okay. You know, you're not going to be prepared for this one. Haha, <laughs> yes, okay. I stole the backup. Wait, yeah, we can let him rot for a bit. It'll be slow, so uh, let's think of a better way to do this. Tease him with some arrow shots. Oh, he's still going to get chained from that far. Okay, we need a strategy. Um, oh, that's not a good strategy. The food stress are good though. Uh, heal up with like nothing to heal up. There we go. Or might would it chain to us? It does kind of. So let's be a little cautious. Yeah. Okay, let's do them normally. <laughs> Sorry, we had our fun. This is a major test, so. Don't mind breaking a few weapons. Yeah. Okay. Do your worst. Not sure what that entails. There we go. What's next? Nice. Yes. Yes. Come on. Getting better. Come on. Yes. We're doing good. We're doing very good. Get every single one. Come on. No, we're so, ah, that was so good. Okay, I love that though. Thank you. Thank you for being my parry practice for today. Unfortunately, your life card has expired. Oh yeah, water and fire don't mix there, I, I see. You know, that's fine. Uh, Perish with some of this. Quick spins through the trick. Go into it, because it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't know it's hitting him. We got a nice long stasis here. Goodbye. Mostly. You do your power move. Hit him with a little uh, that. What's the worst that can happen? Stunt that region a bit. 
I'm not good at parrying this. With the shield, I don't care about this one. Woo! Okay, we're gonna try again. Because that was pretty fun. No, okay, it's later. It's later. It's later. Come on. We got this. Not the first. Yes! Woo! Okay, awesome. I'm not used to pairing that guy. I don't know the timing. Okay, the third does the trick. Maybe eventually we'll learn the timing for the, like, the very first one, though. So. Guardian Spear. We got a, uh, long throw. That's not a keeper. <laughs> Durability's alright. Hmm. <laughs> what are we dropping here? Long throw. Yeah. Easy choice. Um. Because I'm sure this is going to be better regardless. It was all the way over here. Long throw? I'm sure it sucks. Durability's good. <laughs> I'll take it. The attack on modifier only gets to a plus 15. Durability's pro probably not the best either, but, uh. It does the job. And there we go. Test the strength enemy. Uh, we got some nice weapons for Moscow Shia. So. Why not just wail on it? We, we like parrying. Nothing like a nice parry finisher. Okay. Um, that's a great weapon, actually. It's so good that... Well, uh, we will pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> we got a parrying the, the stalkers, but not the scouts. Yeah, I... I don't really practice on them because it's not really needed, but it must do a lot of damage. It it did take off a bit of health. I'm not sure how much it actually does, though. So. Okay, well, we got another. But wasted two fairies, but we still have two fairies, new Moscow Shia. Um, I'm not sure if we get champion abilities. Are champion abilities enabled during the final fight? I don't remember. I think they are, though. Guess we'll see. Or maybe they're not. Uh, <laughs> Okay, but we should be fine with two fairies anyways. Well, the durability goes up to 12, which isn't bad at all. That's a 50% increase. Oh, that is much better. But okay. Did lots of shrines today. I think in total, we start with four. So we did five normal shrines and six champions build shrines. So 11 shrines done today. All in a two hour period, along with the kills in between. Um, yeah. Let's go take on this challenge. There's 10 enemies, including, uh, well, the final boss. So I think we're fine. We can do this. And uh, yeah, have at it. All the enemies in there will be ancient stuff. So ancient arrows are obviously good, but um, you know, now that we have guardian weaponry, that's even better. Yeah, the boss is very good coming up. So yeah, once you do this, uh, really just the rest of the stream's kind of open then. We'll have the master cycle, so travel's pretty good. Still like to do a few more shrines. Uh, if we did a total of three more, even if they're quick ones, uh, we'll have enough spirit orbs to get exactly 13 heart containers, which is the normal amount to get the master sword. And then uh, that means we can do trial of the swords soon. So, hmm. I feel like depending on uh, when the Nintendo Direct comes this month, I, I don't know. I just know there's always a February one. And more than likely, it's either going to be next week or the following week. Um, it's usually on a Wednesday, too, so it kind of changes what we do with the stream schedule. Because if there's a Nintendo Direct and there's Zelda stuff, uh, usually we stream it. Well, regardless. And then uh, if there's Zelda stuff, we usually come back in like an hour or two when it's our normal Wednesday stream time. And we, uh, well, we kind of do a stream discussing it while playing the game. But, um, yeah, depending on if it comes next week or the following week, it depends what we do changes what we do because i can't do something like trial of the sword while discussing the new game because it's too uh <laughs> too focus heavy but yeah i guess we'll see i feel like if there's no direct next week maybe trial of the sword then but here we are we just talked to the pedestal and it's gonna loading screen and uh final trial yeah for those wondering or new uh we stream this playthrough every wednesday at six eastern schedules in the description as always and yeah, also thank you for nearly 400 likes in the stream. We are uh, nearly 200 away from the like goal of 600. So thank you. 
First time you did Trial of the Sword in Master Mode and only had 20 shards, so it took so long. Aw. <laughs> yeah, that is tricky. We need a Deathless Trial of the Sword. We can do that. A Deathless 13 hearts? Even better. Okay. The final trial. It's our final beast here. Nine enemies, one boss. Overcome many trials to reach you. Face the final trial. We can do this. It's literally one big engine, which is cool to think about because it really uh, foreshadows what your reward is. And hey, it makes sense because uh, all divine beasts were different animals represented of the regions. So this is a beast of its own sort. Close to a Deathless Champion's Bound, yes. Um, I don't think you can't use abilities, but we do have two fairies. Yeah. We don't need any more crutch. We got this. Are you my first one? Okay. Of course, you're going to take a couple. Or just one of those. <laughs> Get some bonus damage. Okay, it's our first. And I think that's just the first one for starting. We'll get this terminal. Um, so it looks like, yeah, we'll just update one by one here. First enemy out of 10. Okay. I'm ready. There's four little spokes instead of five terminals. So yeah, I mean, for the name being champion spelled, it's nice that Everything you do is respective of, uh, you know, different champions. So, four champion quest lines, four blight rematches. Even the final trial each has a little uh, room that's a reference to the past. Blights, champions, whatever. Okay. Order wise, I usually start with this guy. Kind of rotate the cogs. Ooh, oh, hi. Oh, and I think we go this way now. Yep. So it's a nice back and forth. Oh wait, then we scoop up, right? Okay. Yeah, close enough. And then like that? Oh wait. Oh, why did we? You know, why did we flip it? I uh, I just assumed it was harder than I was doing it. Okay, through the hole. Um. That's not a maze you're going to make it through easily. Daruk's room. It's funny because this one, well, everything works out for rotation mechanics, so... It's not going to be similar to the other beasts in that way, because... Well, only beasts that have rotation mechanics was technically Naboris. But, you know, forward reverse. It's an interesting puzzle theme. You like how each blight has a rune that they're weak to? Feels like dungeon items from old games. That is actually true. Also, we almost slipped off. That was a good save. But yeah, in terms of that, yeah. Um, Fireblight's weak to bombs. Both from the midway move and, uh, well, just the fact that you can knock them down with bombs. And then uh, Thunderblight with Magnesis. Oh, wait. Are we doing this wrong? Oh, right. It's up there. My bad. Yeah, Thunderblight with Magnesis. Uh... Cryonis for Water Blight. And then, uh... I guess Stasis for Wind Blight, because it keeps them fixed, right? Not gonna lie, I never really used Stasis in many of the fights, but I guess that does make sense. Also, did it not go... Wait, oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Slow and steady wins. Keep going. It's almost through. As soon as it goes through that another curve. I just can't do it early, otherwise it's just it's being impatient. Ooh. Perfect. Yeah, there's a just in case stop switch with stasis. For wind blight you can stasis the mini drones he stands out? That's kinda interesting. Yeah, I never tried that. I feel like we shall. I feel like the Divine Beast fights, or Divine Beast in general, but the fights too, uh, 
we mostly found out like all the cool stuff you can do. I think recently, like actually trying to do all the parry stuff has been very awesome. Because knowing that they all have like parryable attacks is very cool. Besides like Thunderblight, uh, no like cool projectiles. Um, but I don't know. I think it's awesome being able to like, like, just shield parry the spears that Water Blight sends at you or uh, well. Fireblight, even the giant explosive fireballs you can parry. I know Ganon has a lot of stuff too, so it's all nice. I like how the parry move is, uh, you know, a medium risk, high reward sort of move. So it definitely adds uh, another fun layer just of combat to, like, you know, more later game players. I, I do appreciate that. Okay, first one clear. That means enemies spawn in the room. They spawn after, like, every wave. And this time it's four. Pretty sure this is the biggest. Okay. But they're all weaklings. Oh, a little... Oh, no. Same type as last. No. Come on. <laughs> what? That, this is all my bad, honestly. What if we did that? Bye bye. Okay. Nice way to keep them in their place. Keep going. Yep, yeah, sideways. Very satisfying. No, not as satisfying. Not as. Much better. Okay. Getting that parry game back. Yes. Ooh. Okay, come on. Last one's you. Yes. Very clean. <laughs> so much fun. And that is half the enemies in here. Because the other half are much harder, so. All right. 1920 overture. Um, I think the method up is like the same. There's like a puzzle to get in the room itself and then the puzzle in the room. So. Let's argue. Strawberry ice cream isn't as good as people say it is. You know, it's not bad. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of popular ice creams that are just like predominantly like, like more like chocolate flavored. So where people like fruit flavored things, it's a good choice. Um, I don't know. I think cherry ice cream is like my favorite. Like I'm going to be honest, especially recently because uh, I like cherries a lot. Also, I'm definitely a person when it comes to dessert. I prefer fruit things over chocolate. But in terms of chocolate, I just like normal chocolate. Like, like chocolate by itself, especially dark chocolate, is really good. But for like dessert flavors, I like fruit. So that's my consensus on that. You know, only the most important things. Okay. So we gotta push in that uh that thing somehow, right? Yeah. Okay, we did pass it. How do we do this again? Um. There we go. Now push that back. And we just gotta slide it in. We're a little far, aren't we? <laughs> Heart was in the right place there. I guess we can just do this too, can't we? I don't think we'll slide off at the very end. No, of course not. We, we, we will, we will. Uh. Whoa. That does the trick. There's a better way, right? I'm I'm just I'm just goofing it. I wanna say that's right. Okay. Yep. Oh, there was another way to slide it into. You're basically you're just yeah, basically transmitting power from the outside to the inside. Do I ever get bored playing the runs? Uh surprising, but no. I feel like every way I try to do it differently and this game always accommodates just uh just creativity in that way. So I feel like I can't get bored because Every stream or time I play it, I always experience something new. And plus, it's fun to talk about the game while I play it. Um, I feel like sometimes the least fun stuff is doing the stuff I've played, like, many, many times over. Um, also, a base champion weapon. But ultimately, I spend most of the time doing new things that make it awesome. Oh, yeah, sorry. That's what I'm trying to get. It's a... Uh, 
little metal thing out of the ceiling. Oh, I, I guess we didn't. <laughs> but that's why the staircase is here, right? It is. Makes it a bit easier. Plop down. Oh, right on top of it. I didn't want to get crushed, but... Yeah, that, that solves it. That goes out, and we're basically transmitting power again. And, uh... I think it'll just open, then? Or wait. Oh, wrong side. I forgot. You gotta make sure the, the clockwise is right. Then it's gonna be a little disaligned. Champion's Belt is the most fun part of the game for you because even in 30 playthroughs, you've only done it like five or six times. We're basically on the same ground with that because we've played about, we've played the game probably like the same amount of playthroughs and same with Champion's Belt too. So, yeah, definitely comparing this to like Divine Beast, which I've done easily five times more. It's more fun to do this because like, it's like, oh, different. But also with Divine Beast, it's also cool because there's a lot more different ways to solve the puzzles. With this trial, once you to solve it, sometimes more specifically. I mean, there is some variety, but like, especially with these ones, there's a lot more specific solutions. J just by a little bit, I think. Um, ultimately, it's not that different, but that's kind of what I've noticed. But it makes for a good final trial, nonetheless. I'm not complaining. Well, this time it's one of you. Well, there's something really awesome I wanted to donate you. Nice hero, with your name on it. Also, I love how he's in the ground, pretty much. Oh, and the hole closes up when you're done. That's funny. Oh, also, spare parts. Thank you. Mark six out of the ten enemies done. Um, the boss being one of them. What are the final enemies I'll probably have planned to face last? I... Hmm. Honestly, I don't fully know. Like, I feel like it'll just be um, a lot of the tougher enemies. But since we're already going to have a lot of the best loot going into that second half, it could be literally anything. So it could be just, honestly, stuff I didn't really think about or plan out. So more more sort of sloth stragglers, you know? I guess we'll see for sure. Well, it's going to be awesome to find out what that's going to be. Still a bit away. Almost halfway there. Nope. May have a spear, but he's not that speedy with that. So. Not at all. Also, that's a good shield. I don't know if we need it, though. Sorry. Don't need two royals. Take the loot. That is another one. So I assume the next two spawn uh, after one of each room. Yeah, I love this room. Just like the sun rays coming in, but it's like a cave ceiling, like a crystal cave. So it's cool to be in that setting. Underground Divine Beast, but it's very... Uh, Majestic kind of feeling, so I dig it. Mm. Bomb arrows. Yeah. In terms of like favorite part though, that you know, everyone has a different one. I want to say like Trial of the Sword's got to be one of my favorite challenges in the game, but just between everything, like in terms of like maybe Trial of the Sword, maybe Eventide Island. Maybe a cool shrine, like the Trial of Power or Blue Flame. Like, what's everyone's favorite, like, challenge in the game? Or maybe not even challenge, just, like, favorite part. Like, it's, like, a gameplay part that you really enjoy. So it could be the Trials. It could be a specific shrine. Maybe a Divine Beast, a boss fight. Um, I feel like my favorites... Like, I do love Trial of the Sword. Like, the effort put into that challenge was honestly just awesome. Uh, really tests all your skill. Eventide's my other, so I feel like that's why I mentioned those two first. Um, in terms of shrines, I really like... Well... There was that one shrine that involves, like, there's, like, tons of rooms in elevation. There was, like, a floating, like, platform maze in there. That was cool. I like the blue fire shrine. There's, like, one shrine where there's, like, like, a giant hill and there's, like, boulders coming at you, like, all the time. I forgot what it was called. It was, it was in Elden, though. Those are all the ones that come to mind, though. Okay. Uh, you, like... Part with the one hit obliterator is awesome. Okay, that's a good one too. That has to be on my list. I gotta rank him or something. Fighting the monk, yep. A great boss fight. Fair parts the opening, yeah, honestly. 
There's so many different ways that, you know, well, just so many different things we can think of. It's so cool. And other way for the wind? Which trial of the store was my favorite? Do you personally like the middle? Okay. In the middle is interesting. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of the dark rooms. That was the least favorite part of the middle. But the ancient part was cool. Uh, like, I see those wind tunnels I just liked a lot. Major credits to that. I might have to say beginner. I think the beginner just had the best ramp up in difficulty. Uh, and may also be considered the hardest, too. Okay, we're dying. <laughs> I, I kind of forgot about the challenge there. Uh, also, I forgot you were guarding it. So there is one here. I forgot, you're literally in this challenge. Okay. Like the opening sequence. Uh, the theme is your alarm clock sound. That's cool. Honestly, what a great way to wake up in the morning. <laughs> Love what good greedy hills. Yeah. That's a shrine, yeah, with uh, the rolling rocks and rupees. I know, it's such a quick shrine, but it just you're literally just going up a uphill, just being bombarded by stuff. You have to get all the riches. It's shrines like that that I always forget about until I'm deliberately thinking about like cool things in the game. Like, oh yeah. Okay, yeah. We don't need that. I think it was you, Platinum, who mentioned that uh, each of these little trials has one champion weapon inside. But like the base tier, like the Grudo Simtar or uh, like the Swallow Bow. And like, obviously they're bad rewards, but they're meant to be so you can... Uh, use them to make a new champion weapon because the champion weapons to repair them requires you to have a base ingredient which is one of those and then like something else like a diamond or whatever uh so that's like the point of them which is cool i mean i feel like most people won't even care to pick them up though considering you can find those weapons easier elsewhere um especially like right in town for like the swallow or simtar simtar I'm going to say it differently every time. Skimitar. The actual pronunciation is a bit out of my tongue, so. Because most people say, like, Scimitar, but, like, if you look at, like, Google, it says, like, Simtar or something, like, the translation. Um, I don't know, it doesn't roll off the tongue as well, so I see why people say Simtar. Uh, a lot of people used to say skim uh, Skimitar, which that's more, you know, saying it photonically. Uh, so I don't know. <laughs> It's a bit of a weird word, and uh, I said it all different ways when I did like even like like my Grudo run, and uh, yeah, the comments on that were fun. Or a shrine, oh yeah, shrine quest, favorite shrine quest. Uh, you know the ice house one's pretty fun because I don't know, it's a pretty basic mission, but just having to get someone off a shrine pedestal because you're making him a drink is kind of funny. And then having to make the drink or get the ice for it. For some reason, I just really like the quest uh, in Gerudo Canyon too, where you have to save all the travelers by going up like the wooden ramps. Like I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, you know, it's you know not the hardest thing. It just I like being in the area a lot, and a camp that takes advantage of it very well, and the quest with it is cool. Just the goblins everywhere on the rafters, saving travelers. It was neat. Also, yeah, wait, I forgot to update after that last enemy. Twenty-three. This guy can die. We can do one to the eye. I have a better method, personally. One to the eye, or three to the body. It does the trick. Being tossed around the machinery. Is there a core? And there is no need. Oh wait, there might. There is a core. Is that a core? Are you deceiving me? That's that's a screw. Screw you. Okay. Um, here's our last one. We gotta lift that thingy up, don't we? It's pretty easy. I was, I was debating cheesing it. But you'd have to get like a perfect wind bomb or something to do that. Oop. There we go, last one. This? How much money do I have in Breath of the Wild? I, uh... I have about 26,000 right now, but we have tons of gems. We have like, uh, yeah, <laughs> quite a lot, honestly. We'll get even more. Um, 
We'll probably have, you know, at least somewhere in the six digits by the time we finish. <laughs> Even millionaire levels are unreachable after killing all the enemies. I'll say we, we looted most of the gems. Some of them we let die out on accident or purpose. But it's fine. Maybe in one of our later uh, playthroughs, way after the new game comes out. Maybe one day we'll eventually uh, become a millionaire in this game on one of our saves. This is the final before uh, everything else kicks in. I don't want to use this sword. Um, Master Sword. You know, I want to break this actually because I want to have it recharged for the fight. I think. Uh, well, I'm not sure if we get the glowing Master Sword for the fight. I guess we'll find out. Maybe that doesn't chew durability. I know some surfaces don't. Wait, let's test it. Or not with a good weapon. A cool weapon. Uh, does this shoot durability? It does. We're just getting unlucky. Okay. Because I know like very specific switches don't. Uh, stuff like this usually does though. I just didn't know. Also that mass sword shatter sound effect is so cool. Also yeah we could have used it for this but I wasn't investigating. Close the faucets. Thank you. Just perfect. Mm. Yep, base weapon. <laughs> Unneeded for now. Yeah. Final segment. So that means, wait, we gotta come to Skywatcher. I don't think any more enemies spawn because there's just one more. So it shouldn't. <laughs> Who needs stairs when you got our own pillar? There you go. Uncover that. And then... Hit the faucet back! I love this faucet thing, it's so funny. They got half full cryonis block. <laughs> I love how you can start it in like moving water and it'll actually represent that. So you can have it in different levels until you break it. Very neat. But okay, we are finally at the final fight here. Some. I'm very stoked. But before you do that, I'm going to quickly use the restroom because I need to. We've been going for about two and a half hours, so it's been good. After this, we will have to kill several enemies because I still want to break our 2000 today. That's our end goal. This is just a means to an end. Uh, okay. We're going to have bathroom break. Um, be back in like 90 seconds. In the meantime, we will have Piggy watching the stream because who else will watch it? Okay. The best 90 seconds of the stream are coming up. And Baby Floyd. So you know it's going to be awesome. So be right back. Give me 90 seconds. Uh, you can hear this awesome music too. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, Baby Floyd, you can't do that. You can't fall. You're the streamer now. Okay. It's your job. Um, a question of the day. What is your favorite flavor of fries? Uh, go. Bye-bye. Hello, I'm back. Welcome. Thank you guys, you were a great host. Awesome. Now we can get to this. Before anyone asks, yes, I wash my hands because that is very important. So, I'm not gross. I'm just quick. 
All right. Well, there we go. 1924, February 25th. <laughs> Best fries. We got some McDonald's and uh, sweet potato fries. Those lie. They're great. Yeah. Best thing about French fries is that they don't lie. Because French fries, they don't lie. And they're all awesome. Sweet potato fries, those lie. Uh, no, but they're good, though. They just have more sinister qualities. You think it's a fry, but it was a sweet potato. Woo. Okay. Let's do this. You can push it in. The lock's gone. Oh, go the other way. And boom. Open the door. <laughs> Love how the dungeon is about transmitting power to different rooms. And now we transmit it to the final. Okay. I'm so excited for this. We got this, and then uh, final goal today is just getting to 2,000 enemies. So it'll still be 75 enemies after this, but we're going to make it a, go a bit faster because we'll have the master cycle, we'll have the speed. But we just need, well, to win this. First go, we did Champion's Bell, Deathless up to this point. Now we just had the final fight, which uh, I don't have a lot of experience fighting. We have two fairies going into it. Um, Maybe one shot, maybe not. I don't actually know. Can we just look how cool this room is? This is cool. Like the crystalline rock walls. You, you get a lot more of the view. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is a normal monk. Uh-oh. This is really the definition of Wait, why am I hearing boss music? Uh, <laughs> yeah, this completely freaked me out. Because it's like, at this point in the game, I already did it over 100 shrines. Didn't expect a monk to fight me. But it was a great moment. Things that only really, truly live up in the first playthrough. But it's still cool even now. So. Okay. First, pi first part of the fight we'll do uh, pretty seamlessly. Regen can be a killer. Weapons will be okay, it's just a matter of not dying. So. Seeing his hand move because he chills every time, it's cool, just the crack. Cracking off the dust and you got this just warrior here. Oh yeah, <laughs> the eye. I don't know where you're coming from. Both missed. Eh? Okay. Don't run back already. Woo. Okay. There we go. First hit. Not a bad one. Hit him back. Oh, maybe not. Goes back on his own will. Not ancient arrows. Uh, we will go... It has... You have quick shot, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. We missed. Headshots are good, though. There we go. At least one bonus. Thunderbite move. Yes, okay. <laughs> Can't tease me with Thunderbite tactics. So that's where he gets it from. The Sheikah boss himself. Maybe just copying. Oh, second phase. All right. Get in with a good Claymore, but it's going to get much harder. I think this phase is probably the hardest because... uh. <laughs> <gasps> that one was bad? Nah. Few ways we can do this one. I think my personal favorite. Well, there's two of them. The camera. You're the real one. Okay. <laughs> Only one that attacks them. Otherwise, they're all clones. Whoa! Okay, it's okay. This isn't the best one to find him from. Damn it, it's you. Okay, good. Nice. Oh, no, he's just a couple. Okay. Do that gradually. Ooh. He's gonna spot. Oh, wait, a chain of them? We can't distract because he is a uh, Sheikah. Yiga. Haha, <laughs> they're all disorientated about him. Go for it! 
Come on, close. Close in the gap. Close in the gap. Ooh, okay, just a couple. Oh, wow. He stole one assassin coming at me. Okay, headshots are good. Ooh, triple. Okay. About to happen for that guy. Um. Come on, find him quick. Find him quick. Whoa! Damn. That wasn't quick. Oh, I, that was easy. Oh, wait, no, not quite. Yes, we got him. Um. Okay, it's the guy flying up. This guy. Yes. There we go. We stopped him. Stopped the fight. Love this. <laughs> He's not to see it by the bananas anymore, though. Oh, it was you. <laughs> wow. What a lucky uh, situation there. Okay, good. Halfway. It's always the last one you chuck. I know. So unlucky. And then it was the first time. Yeah, that banana strategy was good. It only works once, though. But that was the best time to use it. Because you need to distract them that way. It, yeah, it only works the first time. Uh, at least from what I experienced. Yeah, this fight is very hilarious. I love it. Combine so many things, adding new things. Especially with the Yiga stuff in there. Um, why did I do that? I don't know. Oh, no damage. Okay, you probably have to parry this guy. Ooh, okay. I know it wasn't going to go perfect. He must just have like a bajillion health. Yeah, so he has like major damage resistance right now. Woo! Okay. Uh, maybe not yet. We'll wait our turn. At least he can deal damage. It's meant to thwart regen, I'm pretty sure. I think the, only the eyes weak, maybe? I don't know. Go, 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 go! Yes! Oh, that, that's plenty of time. And now, okay. <laughs> Resistance lifted up. No more shield. Full attack mode, okay. Pretty good. Oh. <laughs> Come on. I think you were the first boss to use this gimmick before. Moving platforms don't do that bad. Oh, but spiky balls make it a little worse. <laughs> Whoa, wow. Okay, hit him with that. No? <gasps> He's just in Regen City, which I don't like Regen City. Uh, eh, maybe we weren't supposed to use it. Oh, maybe so. No, I... <laughs> okay, maybe not. Good things for bows during this fight. We kind of lost without it. Also, his hat blocks damage. I just realized that. You can hit him elsewhere for like very tiny damage, but his hat blocks all damage. Ooh. Did you just cover it? Or is that just me? <laughs> he kind of dead. I don't know if it was intentional. I don't think so. There we go. Come on. Yes! Perfect timing. We got it. The full blast. Okay. <laughs> Getting even better. Come on, get the half. Get down, monk. Ah, no. <laughs> Went up. Not going bad. I like trying on it anything I can. What's one happen? You have to get a new bow soon, though. Okay. Melt with the la savage? Barely. Hmm. Yeah, only the headshot does enough damage. Yep. Oh! That did like no damage to me though, so. There we go. Still shot him. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure. Get him down. Let's see what this final phase is. I don't quite remember. You can use Revali scale to get up and do some damage. I guess that's true. It just has a lot of damage resistance when it's in the air. So attacking it does... I don't think it's just like a bow thing. I think it's literally just... Oh! Oh! Yeah, not good. Yep, he's in the final phase now. Go stompy mode. Okay, what do we got? Um, Running a bit lower. Okay. Let's make this fight interesting. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I just want to try to see. Oh! 
Oh, so it is melee weapons. It's okay. So I guess that is a good tactic then. I thought it was just all damage in general, but I think it just decreases bow damage specifically. Yep, stomping on his own foe there. Whoop, get out. I'm gonna go big stomp. Okay. Master Sword regen. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have the special, which makes sense. It's not a guardian. And hey, just casual. Thank you for this too. And we'll finish your line only run. Very nice. Hope that's been going well. Nice. Okay. Pick up the archer. In case that fails. Damn, they're a little bit late with that. Okay. I can't fail the next one. We got at least one good parry though, so I'm happy about that. Okay, we got this. Okay. Um. Yep. It doesn't that end of trickiness. It's fine. We got at least one parry out of this guy. Oh. oh, I thought I got the guy in the swing too. Woo! That was good. Do your worst. Okay. It just thwarts the regen. That's all we need. your stomp? I don't care. Whatever you think is going to be hurt me. Because it ain't. Oh. Bye-bye to you. Master Sword Smack. Okay. Come on. Do something challenging. That wasn't very challenging. Ow. <laughs> okay. Go again with that. I was trying to parry it. I want to see if I can parry that. There we go. Got a bull. Oh, no, not quite. It doesn't seem like I can. Unless your timing just has to be very good. No. If I'm late or early, it, it breaks my guard. It might be like a Hinox. There we go. We got this this time. Bring a monk. Oh, wow. That almost screwed up everything. There we go. Get them both. Uh, trim the bean stalks here. Gonna see if the smack does it. it. It doesn't seem like I can parry that move. It's kind of upsetting. Okay, come on. This is such a hard one because he delays it. Nice! Oh, it worked finally! That's so good. That's the only way to get him down. Between the legs. Sorry for hitting your crotch, but we got him. Okay. <laughs> nice. Yep. He's damaged after that. <laughs> nice. That's why I didn't parry during this fight. Yeah. I, I never really tried parrying that one, but it seems to work more like a Hinox where you can't really parry that one unless it just requires very tight timing like a laser. Oh, wow. Yeah, that means champion's build DLC completed totally death free. Yeah, literally just that quarter of a heart. It shouldn't have been one-shot protection, too. I think we just got us down that low, so. Jump into the stomp with the shield? I, I don't know. Maybe it can be blocked, but not parried. Mm -hmm. See, easy game. I think my favorite's people uh, who've played Breath of the Wild like eight different times, and they're like, yeah, the bosses, they're easy. Thunderblade, he's easy. It's like, well, from your perspective, like, it's the people specifically trying to prove that certain things are easy in the game because you played it a billion times. It's like, no, there's some tough stuff in Breath of the Wild. Uh, but if you can overcome it in your first go on new playthroughs, then awesome. So, but this is very cool. 
final phase, yeah, isn't that hard. Like, I feel like I was just waiting for cool stuff to happen, you know? Uh, because I really have just wanted to uh, have the self-fulfillment of getting good parries at the end. Because I feel like with how much I've done the combat, it's like, like, usually what you can parry is like the most, like, masterful thing you can do in terms of, like, the base game strats. So, I feel like with this guy, I experimented with him the least. So, it's cool to try stuff like that. The shockwave, most shockwaves you can parry, but that one's a bit odd. Spin to win his ankles, yeah. But yeah, thank you guys, that was a lot of fun. Um, not the end of the stream, of course. Um, because that was our 1925th enemy. Almost three hours in, but I do want to kill 75 more. Um, kill someone that grants some good enemies, uh... Oh, well, I guess we'll see. Because <laughs> I do want to hit 2,000. And with that, we can kind of see what's all around. I'm going to pull my map up, that's okay. Because it's just going to be cutscenes. We got the Master Cycle. And it's going to transport us back. Um, so where is an area I can just take out a lot of enemies in a short amount of time? Of course, I did forget to mark these, so I, I will do that. Um... I think we got the- yeah, okay. That was from a previous stream, I just forgot to mark it. Um, that's when we did Naboris like two streams ago. Because we literally just binged the Divine Beasts. Um, and before that just... Everything getting to them. Hmm. You gotta see me trying to think of- okay, there's like a Modest Test of Strength there. A lot of loose stuff. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, this is the one time where I'm actually like... Where where do I go? <laughs> like from here, where do I go? Um, we could start at that DLC shrine. Maybe take on uh, a Talus. Some nice enemies there. There's a few loose things, but I, I don't know. Just for like a, as we're thinking of stuff to do. They're going to be pretty tiered, I know. But for our weapons, it's worth the challenge. Let's do that. Start with this DLC shrine. Go up there. We can put the mass cycle to the test by getting around fast. So clear up this chunk. Get a few dozen dozen done or so um and then do some quicker stuff because right now we have a lot of weapons we just want to burn through and then take down enemies that uh well we can get a bunch of weapons fast fortunately i have to go happy you got to see this awesome fight wish you a great rest of the stream thank you have a good night <laughs> okay so we're gonna skim this but that's okay we're doing it with all the cutscenes so we don't discriminate here <laughs> all cutscenes get the skip I think my chat did a weird thing. I think I just deleted some messages. I, I couldn't see. Well, will have to tell us grab Joey too. Oh yeah, because that's like the only area in the game besides by the giant horse where you can get a, a horse with better stats. But I don't know. We had the Master Cycle horsey, so I, I think we'll hold off for a moment if that's okay. Oh, I was like, what's this cutscene? Oh yeah, <laughs> going back. We had the plateau cleared from the base and also from the the test is, or not test is right, the uh, the one hit obliterator challenge. Take out enemies with the master cycle with its five damage, I think. There we go. Peaceful music. Also, I like how the shrine of resurrection actually is a shrine. Uh, it's like the front of a shrine, but just open and back. There we go. And Zelda's gonna give us a last Lady. message of approval. Hmm. I have watched your journey. Yeah, I can't wait to go on a 75 enemy rampage. We'll probably, we'll probably stop right at 2000. Just gotta leave off a nice milestone. Um, yeah, in terms of streams, we'll we'll be up to this again, well, next week. Obviously, it's every Wednesday at 6 Eastern, 6 p.m. Um, usually, we try to do something on the weekend. This weekend, no. I'm gonna be out of town with some family. Uh, so, no Relic stream or anything. But maybe next weekend, either a new stream or a new challenge run. So, depending on what's done. But all right, Champion's Battle done. Now, Master Cycle. Use that in just a second. Let's first start right here. And let's ride into the next battle. Okay. I'm out of water. Ah, I think I'll survive. Okay, now I'm officially out of water. Yeah, I drank a lot today. Overhydrated, but better than under. 
Wish Breath of the Wild had a post game. It's getting a post game. Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> There's your post game. All right. Well, first enemy over here. Let's make this uh, 75 enemy rampage count. With that. Well, we can do a little climb. Not too much with full stamina. That's not what I meant to do. You know what's better than climbs? Letting Revali do the work. Yeah. That's all Revali's used for now. He's just, uh, he's my elevator. Lost all of his other potential. I choose. Mm. Oh yeah, the good horses are over there. Best horses in the game. Just keep reloading that pack. Just don't grab the spotted. You can get the five... Like, one of two locations where you can get the five-speed horses. That and where the giant horses. Hi, birds. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Let's use that. Oh, on flat, stable ground. There we go. Divine Beast Varum. There we go. Okay. Oh, no. You ruined my fun. We can do it with the horse, but not you. Ooh, badly damaged falcon. Served us extremely well. Upland Linder. Of course, we're all the hammer, but... We've got great weapons still. Keep going. Get those bonus hits. Woo! And that uh, staggers him. Get the jump right as he falls, and that's how we ensure we stay on. You know, there's a lot of moves that require precise timing. Uh, specifically the parries and flurries, but... Like, specifically jumping off a talus with the right timing uh, is another example of that. So you don't, like, fall off while he's falling. Very good. Also, I'm surprised we didn't get that shrine over there. But we're not getting everything anyways. There is no enemies in that shrine, so... Useless toss. Also, thank you, Ducky in the Mud. Thank you for the dollar donation. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay, there's three enemies, including a gold one. Okay. So we're really seeing the golds now. Um, if we can get a nice starter shot on that one. Rain's going to make it a bit tricky. Uh, please come up. Nope. No stealth strike command. You know why? Because it's cruel. No better reason. Uh, so we spin to win. Because these guys aren't archers or spear guys. We can do normal hits while we're regenning. Oh, a little too far. Okay. Oh, yep. Spin to win lock. Okay. A little bit. Come on. Yes. Get them both. And... Okay. <laughs> now just down to you guys. Headshot. Nice. <laughs> okay. Nice little rampage at the end. Chase him down. Helm split. <laughs> yes. Okay. Good little camp. With that in the Talos, that is four more. 29. Do we need Dragon Bone Clubs? I mean, not even modified. We'll take him until we don't need him. Topaz. Banana Gem. Very good. Two, three. Next camp is six enemies up ahead. Not taking care of the bees, sorry. But yeah, already, this is going to make everything so much better. Do high tier enemies regen faster? Typically not. It's more fixed to enemy type itself. So stuff like, like Bacoblins will have different rates than uh, like a Lionel. Because Lionels regen pretty slowly and it takes a while for them to regen. So they're not as difficult. So I don't think color actually determines. Also, that was good. Nope. <laughs> Just flicked him back. That was excellent. Not Ooh, that crate smack at the end. Okay. Let the crates do the work. Why not? Using their structures against them. Okay. You know what we're going to do for this next one? We're going to launch it straight into the Moblin. I'm not going to miss. Not going to miss. That wasn't a mess. No, 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 no. Okay. This time. 
This time we're going to angle our shots to change with this movement. Okay. We have the means to this. It's okay. This will work. Go! <laughs> Did freak him out a bit. <laughs> Why? Because I enjoy being a ham. Okay, once more. Doing this completely arbitrary task that won't actually do a lot of damage. Here. I have a round two. You take the crate. There we go. <laughs> That does the trick. There we go. Good at moving targets. Gets one headshot at least. Mm. What do we got now? Thunder. Ooh, the big orb. That's always nice. Oh, it's bit. Ah, oh, finally. We're in the end game now, Thunder Blade. <laughs> Helped with so many shock traps. Okay, one final shock trap for you. All right, not really a shock trap, but in her own way, that was good. Boomerang. Bye-bye. Oh, not even. Not even with that either. That, well, that does the trick. Not modified, but it's okay. Using up a lot of weapons, which is the point. We have a lot of slots. Arrows, five. It's funny how you call that platinum. I know it's gonna hit the other box at first, but it did. With the stasis. Oh. He did see me. Okay. Well, only other solution. Uh, nice shock orbs would be cool. I guess the goal that's pretty good damage. Kind of makes its own little chain there. Um, Yes. Keep going safely. This won't stay here until the final hit. So we got to make the final hit sooner. So it does. Okay. Nice. Truck out on him. Good. A little bit of fire damage can't hurt. Really just a little bit. Woo! Nice. Go for it. Parried. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Had to like dodge there too. I was a little nervous. Getting the good gems though. Okay. Let's break all of them on his head. <laughs> Do some nice uh, magnet tricks. <laughs> Those decent. It's like I forgot how much exactly. Ooh! Wow. <laughs> one for one. Sure. Take the stuff. I deserve it. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Severe little victory yell, right? It'll be a short-lived victory. A fairy? Wait, how do fairy? Wish I could stasis the fairy. I guess there's just a little teeny bit of grass I was able to get a fairy from. There we go. <laughs> Does an immediate spin. Well, there we go. Everyone but one. Still one more hiding. A diamond that time, okay. The loot's also a good reward in this camp in itself. No? Okay. Sometimes harder than it looks. I forgot, you kind of need the metal crates, don't you? Uh, <laughs> I forgot, you know, gotta form like a ladder. Here. One should be good. Or maybe two. Because we're gonna break all of them. Have you ever played the original Zelda game? I have. It was a couple years ago, actually. I mean, I definitely played it before that, but I haven't beaten it until a couple years ago. Very fun. I I mean, I like just how open-ended it is, kind of like with Breath of the Wild. It doesn't really tell you much. Uh, only problem is, at the end, it gets just stupidly hard. Uh, like, almost inhumanly, like the last few dungeons. But up until that point, I think it's a really fun game. Okay. Um, well, I've seen better. I think if it's raining, this moat fills. I have a better plan. This is an amazing plan that will work. Oh wait, you need to get on it first, don't you? No. I think I've achieved something greater. Wait. 
Hear me out here. We got the master cycle, right? I need to make it up there. No. This will be a good strategy. Or wait. Maybe I can do it from here. Oh, wait. No, that, that, that is a good strategy. That That's good. We learned so much already. But to make it even better... <laughs> I think I can do this. No, a little bit further. This is like pointless machine 500 right here. Oh, come on. No, I couldn't spawn on top of that. What about this? Spawn it there instead. Or wait, no! I can't, I, maybe I can't make it up there, but you see what I can do? I made it almost there, right? So. Right, okay. Close. Yeah, high jump! <laughs> it works! Woo! <laughs> Cheese with the mass cycle to get some extra high jump. <laughs> Such an unnecessary strat, but I, I don't know. I, I, I'm taking pride in that one. Because it just, it just felt fun, you know? But basically, the reason why I came up here is because... Technically, I could have done it from down there. This guy. He's a guaranteed choo-choo. He's one of the, like, 33 in the world that always spawn. Oh, and then there's the UI. Yeah, right. Yep. Keep it up. Bad. Ooh, the triple right there. Sometimes you only get like one or two. Complain. Cry baby. Uh, yeah. A little fire after the flame. Or fire after the shock. I can't element. Okay, that's all six here. Not that bad. So it brings up to 1935 now. The year I was born. Uh, <laughs> and there's two in the canyon we could do. That shouldn't be too awful. There should be, uh, yeah. That. There, there is Forgotten Temple ahead. Ooh. We don't have that ancient shield. Why did I do that? It's okay. It despawns after a big fall. If I'm on it, personally. If I'm not on it, then it's safe. These guys are important. Okay. But also deadly. Get him off the horse. Do a little drift. I love the drift. That yeah. Even the silver one activated. I don't mind using that. It's helpful. Okay, both. No, maybe not. Trying to get the bow again. <laughs> Trade off. We'll kill the last survivor normally. Great Eagle Bow is damaged. It's fine. We have to break it both on him. That. That. And that finishes at least. But that's a Great Eagle Bow. It had to go eventually. Sometimes, most of the time I forget to pick up the champion weapons. That's fine. 37. Hmm. And I'll see next. The only enemies in the canyon, uh, besides at the very beginning, are in here. Now, why are we deciding to do this right now? Uh, great question. We don't have an ancient shield. Yeah, but, but I, I feel like doing it. And, uh, bit of a madman right now. You love what golden bows are... How the golden enemies only get shocked for 0.3 seconds? Yeah. Because with the elemental duration of the golden enemies, they only take a, a tenth of that duration. So if you freeze an enemy, usually it lasts for 30 seconds. But for a golden enemy, it's only three seconds. For shock, it's usually three seconds. But for a golden enemy, it's 0.3. So it's a very short stun time. All right. <laughs> We're doing this now. <laughs> right here? Right now? I didn't plan on this. <laughs> Not today. Not yet. Um, also, I didn't plan on really choking it right there. <laughs> Get all the ancient gear. I'm sure that's the great way to go about it. Um, 
No, if anything, it's a fantastic way to go about it. But we're not thinking on that level today. We're thinking on the level of whatever comes to mind first. Ever watched Trigun? No, I heard it's a good anime, though. Uh, I'm not sure what my next anime is going to be. Uh, personally, in terms of shows, uh, recent one wasn't an anime. I, I finished watching Breaking Bad, and it was phenomenal. Uh, I do want to watch the other show and movie in the universe. But then I'll probably watch another anime, and I'll have to figure out what I'm going with. <laughs> Usually don't watch more than, like, one or two shows at once, because it'll just be a lot. Okay. You know what? Just for the sake of needing it, we will actually put the medallion here which means we can come back and uh you know do it with an ancient shield it'll be a lot safer but who needs safety when uh well we have numbers on our side too with the shields they just have guardians what am i doing <laughs> okay. okay well whatever we're doing we're doing it Ah, uh, we plan amazingly. Come on. There we go again. Third? One by one? Yes? Three in a row! Not that one, but it wasn't a blowback. Come on. Yes! Okay! Only one failure in the midst. That's still good. They didn't all aggro at once, so it made it a bit more manageable. Um, but if they do in the next wave, we'll be ready. Is there only four? I think there was only four, which isn't a bad amount. No, not at all. I need all these spare parts. There's just a lot of time. None of them are cores anyways, and there's only so many of these that we need. Oh. There's another one. <laughs> you to hear me first. Respect. <laughs> well, that is a death. It happened after Champions Belled. Went the whole entire Champions Belled, no deaths. Still good, though. I, I, I want to see. I want to see what we can do. So in the first room, there's going to be six of them. One, two, three, four, sec six in the second room. So it's going to be 12 in total. Okay. Well, we have to go for the multi-agro. <laughs> Just a few lasers. Did it parry? It did parry! We skipped the animation somehow! <laughs> it just insta-parried, I didn't expect that. How'd it cancel? Okay. I mean, very interesting. I mean, I'll take it. This was a fitting place for it to end, the, the deathless sprint. But okay, you know, I'll take that. That was, that was a good, uh, good go. Oh, that first parry parried both. But it didn't, like, make the... Well, I guess I canceled that. Okay. Yeah, so I guess that wasn't really a same-time parry. Uh, usually I have to do the shield switch. I, it just wasn't enough time to process just all that happened. I'm happy I got two. Like, that, that's a pretty good amount. Okay, Royal, I'm breaking you if you fail. There we go. That was early. But pretty good success for ratio for all this pressure. Uh, I'm okay. Give myself a little credit. Nice. First six cleared. And there's like some okay loot. I'm not too concerned, honestly. There's a shrine. It's just a blessing. What? Okay. It's playing the dragon music? Yeah, I, I guess I could play the dragon music if you're here. Okay. Just a little checkpoint. I love how, uh... I love how I can see the goddess statue in the back. Nice. Gotta alert them. Where are they? I guess we're out of the range. Nice! Okay. Doing good. This is such a cool area in the game. It's literally a whole abandoned temple. Just decayed guardians. If you really didn't number on the place. We're just found home. Refuge. Okay. You know what? Let's make it fair. 
See me all at once. Maybe not. No! I tried to shield parry and everything. I don't know what flunked that. Nice, okay. Um, go again with another hardy. I could use that. Uh-oh. Hey. Come on. Don't know why he didn't aggro. Okay. It's hard with the multi-pressure. I, I will admit. Just for something. Sorry, Royal Shield. Good things break eventually, but we'll find plenty. I wonder why they're here. <laughs> okay. Well, not too bad. You know, we got a nice multi-parry. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure for this uh, area, but <gasps> not too bad. Didn't you know this place existed? Yeah, it's such a cool place. Uh, sadly, I happened to get it spoiled in a YouTube thumbnail. Um, because that just happens. <laughs> this is back when the game came out. <sighs> yeah, spoilers are going to be hard. You know, I know probably a lot of us here, not most, uh, really want to play it as blind as possible when it comes out. Um, which obviously we'll be streaming it, but when we do, you know, we'll make all the titles and thumbnails spoiler free. Um, so I won't be responsible for spoiling the game because I don't want that. And I would hate to get it spoiled for someone. Uh, but the problem is, like, even if you don't follow creators or unfollow creators who cover, like, Breath of the Wild before the game's out to avoid sp spoilers, it's not going to actually get them off your feed. Because the problem is, is that uh, when this game comes out, there's going to be a lot of channels or just outlets, like, just capitalizing on the hype. They might get the game early, just binge it through to just make a bunch of videos to, like, spoil the game. Like, you know, <laughs> be scrolling YouTube instantly at the first video, uh, you know. All bosses, final boss, and everything in the thumbnail. And those types of videos that just are meant to be clickbaity and spoilers, they're almost never made by Zelda channels themselves. So even if you unfollow or don't watch Zelda channels for like a month before uh, the new game comes out, it's usually the non-Zelda channels that just like cash in on hype that make really clickbaity or just, uh, I mean, that just like spoiler videos or for spoiler titles, so. You won't see that from my channel because I understand how important a first playthrough is and to be, you know? It's got it's your first playthrough. It's a it's a good experience and it's gonna stick with you throughout the rest. But yeah, literally the strategy, if you don't want spoilers, stay off YouTube, stay off Twitter, you have to. Uh, otherwise you always risk a spoiler every day. Especially if we're in this stream, there's a good chance where you probably get a lot of Zelda recommendations. Only way to avoid it is just by getting off, because there's gonna be a mass wave of just those like like cash and creators that literally happen to get like early copies of the game aka they have a friend who works at GameStop and gives it to them a week early because there's nothing stopping them uh so yeah that stuff's risky honestly either way we got the 12th here um but there is one special one we can do after this so let me warp back 37 to 49 very good This is your first stream. You enjoy watching the challenges, especially the ancient only one. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know, the spoilers are always the classic format with uh, four bosses and the final boss in the middle. Yep. There's a few channels to do that specifically. But yeah. It sucks. Put a massive pebble in the thumbnail. <laughs> this is a talus. Not a pebblet. Puts a pebblet. Okay, so I'm going on top of here because... Uh, there is one special enemy that only uh, spawns in master mode up here, not in the base game. Oh, well, not this guy. This is just a little, uh, little quark, dude. Turns out, special enemy. Obviously, most of the master mode additions are uh, just the octo platforms, like you know, it's uh, normal platforms and the enemies on them and loot. But there is a few enemies uh, that are just master mode exclusive around the world. And they're specifically the weak variants of uh, where you would see the scaled up stuff in Master Mode as. So, obviously, Master Mode, all the red Bacoblins are scaled to blue. But, uh, well, for the Compendium's sake, so you can fill that out still, they still put usually like one of each enemy. So, there's still a red Bacoblin in the world, there's still a red Moblin, there's two green Lizzles, uh, there's a red Hinox, a normal Talus, just one of each. Um, 
But this also extends to the wizard robes. I didn't really think about this until earlier today. But I don't know. I'm usually not here, but apparently one of the base wizard robes is over here. I just really didn't notice, or nor did I know that some of these locations were master mode exclusives. Because especially with wizard robes, it's hard to it's hard to tell the difference between the, the types if you're just not paying attention. But I believe it's here. According to my map, it's here. So let's see how right I am. Um, there you are. Okay. See this guy? He's not a blizz robe. He's just a nice wizard robe. You can tell because his his shirt doesn't have any sort of design. Ice is nice. But the cool thing about him specifically, I believe... Oh, never mind. I thought he drops a blizzard rod. <laughs> Why would he drop a blizzard rod? They don't. Okay. Well, there's another one. And that brings our counts to 1950. So now we're just... Ooh. <laughs> 1950. Okay. Now we're just 50 away. Um, let's, let's mark off what we did. So we did everything here. Oop, no. Sorry, it's been a odd shape. I'm using an odd tool. We didn't, we didn't get that. Oh, try, that's a Yiga. Um, Stalnox, okay. So we got the stuff here. Sorry, everything outside the trials we forgot. So we do it in a wave. What's a quick way we can kill 50 enemies? Um... So our goal is 50 enemies and obviously some weapons because we have literally three that we can get rid of and we'll break another one soon. Um, you know, we could go to hmm, this area. It's a nice trail. These guys have a lot of good weapons. Some pebblets, choo-choos, whatnot. Uh, we can clear out a nice wave going forward. I forgot to get this guy. <laughs> yeah, honestly, this isn't a bad strategy. Maybe ending at the gut check rock. Because by then we should have a bunch. Let's do it. Okay. Should be a nice little bit of enemies. Um, Start at the shrine. If only if the blizzard had a cool new move since in the addition to the health. I guess that makes sense, but... It's just the fact that they go down one shot. They're not really much of enemies. The thunder wizard was a bit better, but... Enemies that are one-shotable, they can't have too many moves, otherwise it just look... You'll never see them anyways. They shoot stuff at you, and then they can occasionally call a storm. 50 enemies, you could probably do the one area north of Zora's Domain with the skies. That is true. Um, it's kind of a rush one, we, we can. But I'm going to start with this, because the weapons and whatnot. Um, okay. So for this, it looks like... I'm going to mark it, because it's just going to be so much easier. One, two, three. I know one by one, but literally just a rampage draw, almost one-shottable enemies. One, two, three. <laughs> just counting. Going, going, going. Yep. We'll mark off... We'll delete a wave as we go. Not that big of a deal. Oh, wait. We did uh, that talus, didn't we? Okay. I'll mark it off on my personal app map. That's the only thing we did in that that stretch. Um, well, there's still three by the bridge. There is two in total here. There's two here. Usually I do don't do individual, but for a sake like this, I think it's okay. One, one, and one. There's a rock octa on that platform, which can be interesting to kill. Okay, let's do him. <laughs> Because why not, honestly? Oh. What's burning out? My duplex bow. So we're going to be using a lot of this good bow for one-shotting. We can do the hills east of the castle? We could. It sucks because we can't actually use the master cycle here, which we just got, but it's fine. We don't have... A oh, we I guess we did have the ice rod, too, for killing them quick. Okay. <laughs> Shouldn't be any more blood moons too. What, what if I did that? Nope. That wastes it. There we go. Good weapons too. Uh, I'm just gonna drop them preemptively so we can pick them up. It's just those two. Nothing crazy. Although I'm probably just gonna keep the boomerangs. Could do Eventide. I'm gonna wait on Eventide. Uh, see, there's just a lot of challenges. They're all good suggestions. I'll just kind of go on off preference. 
but really, like, since we have all this main stuff done, besides uh, a Trial of the Sword, which we might honestly do next week. Um, how about this? If a Nintendo Direct isn't planned for next Wednesday, we'll do Trial of the Sword. How about that? If not, we'll figure something else to do. Only because if a Direct's planned, we're going to be talking about it a lot, and uh, especially if it's Tears of the Kingdom stuff, it's going to be a lot to think about while we're doing something intense like Trial of the Sword. So yeah. Next week, if not, then the week after. Hello. It's actually a lot of good weapons. I wasn't expecting all that. Okay. So the next one, we'll get rid of the ice rod. <laughs> I don't mind having three sets of boomerangs. Like, why not? Even though we don't need all of them. It just helps. A lot of one shots, some stuff we can throw around. We'll probably end the last one with the cool boss or something. Doing some quick ones in between. Also, I'm going to mark off in a whole section because it makes more sense here. Whoop, nice. Mm. There'll be plenty more boomerangs. Even with three boomerangs, that's pretty good. The armor looks so botched, I know. <laughs> Just this accordion armor. My metal helmet. Look better if we dyed this gray, which is honestly a good color scheme. But alas, we aren't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that a, it's a little pebblet? Hello, pebblet. You're cute. Now oh, I can pick you up. Safely. <laughs> yeah. For a flint. Better than nothing. Flint's like one of the sources of black dye. Uh, Use it in our soldier run. Um, oh, frozen. I think it's flint and uh, lionel hoofs. So obviously one of those is a bit more affordable. Oh, then we got these two. Using it while it lasts. It's like a multi-blast. Oh, wow. Sometimes they just go back right away. Oh, my shield. And then you try to headbutt me three feet away. I love pebblets so much. They're like my favorite enemy for like no reason. One, one of those things. Like, not my favorite enemy, but like, it's my favorite enemy for no reason. Like, you know how you like something for no reason? Like, in terms of that category, that's my favorite in that category. Just like, I don't know why I like it. Just cute and it wobbles around. And that's a valid enough reason. First time watching a stream while actually, well, it's actually streaming. Well, welcome. Welcome to the live. I think it's a crazy thought that majority of people watch my streams after they're done. I know sometimes, like, a time zones do it, but also just, like, having the VODs up. So, you know. Hello, VOD people, if you're watching this. Uh, hope you're having a fun time, too. Okay. See? They deserve some recognition there. <laughs> Whoosh, and down here. Hello. <laughs> this part isn't too bad. There's some parts where it's just going to be still like this. Because what can you do, you know? But that's why I'm doing it now because it's not going to be our last section. It'll be kind of our second to last. Get off a few easy kills here. Pretty quick. The fastest is still Octobloon stuff by a long shot. Yeah, we have three boomerangs. That's more than plenty, honestly. Yeah. Some ancient stuff. Can't have too much Lizzle weapons. Throws off their variety. Yeah, VOD squad. <laughs> That's pretty fun, you know, and again, like, it's good to get away, like, well, obviously the champions battle stuff, because, like, it's fun to do, but for run progress, this has been the least amount of uh, kills we got in a run, like, or in stream. There we go. But I expected it because, yeah, we're... <laughs> anything involving, especially the late, uh, well... Champions battle stuff and shrines. But we did quite a few today. There we go. That guy's just got a cobble crusher. <laughs> He's downgrading. That's not too bad. Oh, it actually is. The boulder breaker is the better one, right? Did we get two over here? I don't believe we did. Wait, did we or did I just blank? I just killed two things, right? I'm not I'm not just blanking here. Um, um. <laughs> I, I, I blanked. I'm sorry. 
Oh no, it's it's over further. Okay. Sorry, checking the map on my personal end. Should do a, a collecting every item challenge? That could be funny. Oh man. I don't know when I'll do another match challenge like this. Like we got this. I'm still planning on doing well, releasing two more full challenge runs on the channel before the new game. One of them I'm still editing, the other one we'll record probably in like March. Because got some other stuff planned. I still want to do another stats video and probably some Tears of the Kingdom content as we get more stuff, maybe. <laughs> yeah, so a lot planned. Um, this playthrough will take a while. Also want to do more relics of the past, um, especially next month. Again, I just don't have anything planned until next Wednesday because I'm going to be uh, away with family for like the weekend. So just uh, taking a few days to relax and see everyone. So. Whoosh. I think that all works well, right? Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Sorry. Let me let me pull that back up. Actually, there's three enemies there. I marked it wrong. Uh, edit. Yeah, a shield is three because it's the third stamp. Um. We got them all right. <laughs> Sorry. Two fire, two choose, three pebbles. We dead. Let me know if I didn't, but I'm like pretty sure I just did. Sorry. <laughs> Killing Choo Choo's and Pebbles is like a diamond dozen, so I'm like, we got him, right? Yeah, of course we did. Also, I believe that's a dynamic Lizzle in the lava. Or maybe it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> that's right. I don't think there's dynamic fire ones. These guys just walk amongst their paths, so I don't get to see everything right away. Mm. Need to stream Stray? I, I might do that on Twitch, because, uh, Stray seems fun. What other games did I promise? Like, <laughs> it's not coming to me. And yeah, for Tears of the Kingdom, we talked about it earlier. No, uh, well, for stream titles and thumbnails, it'll be all stuff that's known before the game releases. So the thumbnails will just be taken from the trailer. Uh, and titles will be pretty generic, you know? Especially that first month, we're all playing the game. But best advice if you don't want to have spoilers, just don't be on YouTube. Like, you will get it spoiled, and it won't be from me. It'll be from the, the cash and channels, so. And it, it sucks, but that's what happened with me with Breath of the Wild, so. I'll always, uh, keep that in mind. Also, it's the Rock Octorok. We could try some weapons on him. I like how it's, like, here to let you know, hey, this is a mechanic in the game. You can do this. Ooh. Ooh, he blocked it. Nice. Wait, don't be, like, Breadberry, yeah. A professor gaming, yeah, all of them. It's not just gonna be them, it's gonna be like, you know, those channels just cover like five cool things in, uh, in Tears of the Kingdom, but it'll be all spoilers right away. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. It's the channels that always find the newest game of the month to cash in on, so. And I say cash in because, you know, there's just a lot of channels out there that literally make videos. They try to see what game's new and profitable rather than what they actually enjoy. Which is sad, but it's those people that always spoil the stuff because they have no shame. So, ooh, a royal broadsword. Okay, we got a nice and a royal. Okay, I think it's like a five percent chance to get a royal. Um, that's very good. I mean, it's like it has more durability than that. It's the same damage. Very funny. Why, why did I try to do that too? Wrong? Did I forget? We'll let the loop burn up. Okay. Um, let us see what we all did. Also, thank you, Cruz, for the 20. Sorry about that. Uh, thanks for being you. I appreciate it. Yeah, dancing pair. <laughs> okay. Um, let's look at our map really quick. Because we just did a nice little section. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wrong way. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25 enemies. Okay, that was half. <laughs> I didn't expect it to actually be that much. That was at like almost 20. So, pretty good. Pretty quick section. Mm. So, 25 enemies brings it to, well, from 950 to 975. Very good. <laughs> Deleting social media before the game comes out. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, I, I feel that. Can't wait for the GameSpot videos. Yeah, those are cool. Like, 
like GameSpot's like one of those like bigger channels where it's actually like, you know, it's people who care about the content because, uh, well, the person who makes those for GameSpot, he's obviously a very, very good Breath of the Wild player, very passionate person. Uh, yeah, Rin's awesome. So that's different. Like there's a difference between making like cool videos that inform people and are really awesome. And obviously, you know, the other ones, so. The games, the GameSpot ones are awesome. Also, thank you, Cruz. <laughs> Ten dollars, dancing lemon. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm gonna see really quick. Uh, what do we got? Oh, it's like a path. Oh, yeah, it's a whole path down. We can get a lot of babies. Oh wait, sorry, it's a whole path down. We can get yeah. Let me start from the top because I definitely didn't start from the top. Because it takes you to the volcanic area. Because this all isn't. That's a pebble too. Okay. Only 87 enemies killed in tonight's stream. Well, saved by the Deathless Champions Bell. There we go. It'll be the, the minimum. So all the other streams can be the maximum. Which is a fair trade-off. This will be the low record. And that's okay. Also, nice rock surfing shield. Lowest friction in the game. Just nice speed. Okay. Wait, there's gonna be odd stone pebbles in the path. Like that guy. Yep. Literally fixed ones are just so random. But I guess they're kind of by deposits and whatnot. Oh, see, so yeah, I love how you can, uh... Well, you usually have to bomb those guys, but if you're in bullet time... Since your stuff moves normal, but they move slower... Oh! I forgot about the slow... Wait, what? I guess I messed that up. <laughs> Usually I can do it in bowl time, though. Not the easiest thing, but... Oh, what the... I think my trigger is getting, like, loose because I keep popping out of it when I don't mean to. Sizzle fin troll. Yeah, fish... Triple fishy. And this one's balloons. You guys are specializing in different things, I see. One fish, one parts. What a neat one. Okay. Yeah, we're just doing these easy ones because I want, like, that final one to be, like, something meteor. But also, it's chill. You know, it's the end of the stream. Uh, near the end of the stream, you know. Because we, we usually don't like stream for more than four hours, because then I get too tired. Uh, <laughs> which I guess is valid. Um, I thought that was a, like a talus that was already standing up, or a pebblet. There we go. I gotta hit the bottom. I see my mistakes. I will learn from them. Yeah, some easy ones. <laughs> I don't mind this. I really don't. Emu. <laughs> oh, and that's Chuchu we gotta get. Okay. Ah, you ran right into it. I'll let them live. I'm just after the enemies today. There's five up ahead. Okay. Nice. <laughs> it's cool to have my real name. No, it's Sam. Uh, Got on my water bottle too, except it's inverted, so yeah. I know people ask me about it a lot, but uh, it's my girlfriend who made it, Vavachi. Uh, who also mods here, so you've probably seen her. But that's in the fact, but in case you didn't know, you know. <laughs> yeah. It was uh, our first Christmas together she made it, so it was really nice, and it obviously still holds up, and we've been literally using it as the stream water bottle ever since. <laughs> Oh, the pebbles were free to the ground. I didn't even notice them up until I just saw their uh, attempted disappearance. So I've never shown that side of the bottle. Very rarely. Because I, I never... Oh, even you, Kondral, didn't notice it. Yeah, because we always drink it like this. I think she purposely painted it, too. So uh, with the cap on it, it would be perfectly on my camera because I always kept it at the same angle. Uh, so it's very cool. But yeah, it has a backside. has my name in the Breath of the Wild font. But my camera's just, like, flipped. So... That's why it's backwards. Favorite flavor of Jolly Rancher? Good question. I've always liked the cherry. I feel like when it comes to like, like candies or just like fruit flavored things, like cherries, but my go-to. Like I don't know, cherry's just always fun. And uh, I'm also just the type of person that just I don't know. Um, in terms of cherries, my favorite color is red. Um, 
like i feel like red's always been my favorite color and like for some reason my favorite fruits are also red like cherries apples strawberries uh so i don't know it's my internal obsession with the red for no reason which is funny my channel logo is orange but close enough also i believe that was the final right it was it, uh so i was looking at my map it looks to be i think so right okay Uh, let's see how much we did then. Sorry. There's like another path kind of here. One second. Sorry. Keep bringing this toggle on the map. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Oh, we did twenty-one. Let's take it on that twenty-second one. Here, I'm just going to highlight it, but we'll do it right away. That's good for now. We can do the rest at a different time. Because there's just so much. Like, we can we can knock that out on a stream where we're just trying to get everything. So, I said 21, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18, 19, 20, 21. So, 22 after everything. We'll just count it preemptively. Uh, don't shame me. <laughs> 85, 95. 95. 97. A after this... Lizolfo, I know we're killing it early. Don't uh, don't blame me. We'll be okay. Hey, Queen Bobin. <laughs> Green apple, easy. Green apple's good. I, I like honey crisp apple personally. Like it's just, in terms of the sweetest to crispy ratio, it's really good. A uh, green apple's really good. It's a specific vibe. It's really good for like baking stuff though. So, you know, never a bad thing. Here's the one. Okay, now we're actually at the right count. So, our goal today is three more. Let's make these counts. Let's just do uh, some tough shrines. I'll remove these off camera because that's just tedious. Um, do some tests of strengths. All these sword pins I just saved for shrines that have one enemy in it. So, that's the Blood Moon Shrine. We don't have a Blood Moon right now. Um, one second. Oh, that was the Champion's Battle, which we finished. Let's see, that's two enemies in there. That's not a test of strength, though. Hmm. That's a test of strength. You know what? We can do that one and that one. Might as well, right? <laughs> How fast can we knock out three tests of strengths? Bringing the counts up to 2,000. <laughs> Highlighted two orange by accident. We'll figure it out. I didn't see what I did. Oh, I did. Yep, you're right. Thank you. I, I see what you mean. They're right in the corner. I, I appreciate that. Did I notice that? No, not at all. So, much appreciated. Sorry, it's weird. If you gotta delete it, you gotta like, save the deletion. Here, we're just gonna make a polygon. Boop, 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 boop. Make a, our own funny little shape here. There we go. That works better. <laughs> yeah, we can do that too. I just never don't. Never do. <laughs> okay. Well, three more. Let's see how this goes. We don't have fairies. So maybe the death counter is going up. Using everything we got. All, all the parties and whatnot. Yeah. Thank you for the help, by the way. Just when it comes to the run. Uh, even just immediate advice like that that I missed because it's helpful. Also, yeah, I just want to say, uh, in terms of like, the pins initially figuring out counts, uh, overchecking the counts, I got to thank Platinum for that because Platinum has done so much. Uh, with just making sure we got things right, and especially starting out the playthrough, like, we're talking a while in DMs about missable enemies that we didn't get, um, or just, like, enemies that only appear during certain, like, parts of the game that can vanish. Like, he made sure to compile all of those, so, uh, you know, we won't miss anything and fail the run, I guess. <laughs> in terms of just, like, helping find locations and figuring out the object uh, map commands that are in the description. So, as always, thank you for that. Yeah, this guy's easy. <laughs> we managed to parry that, but it didn't even count. Here, you do it again. He missed, like, all of them. Fine, if he's playing that way, we'll get another cool parry. Ow. He broke a pillar. 
strong enough to do that, but not strong enough to take off more than like a heart. Come on, do a cool move. I, I want to counter you. There we go. Whoop. We got this. Oh, just missed everything, I guess. Come on, let me do it. Give me one more. Because you're basic. I, I want to do something cool. Do I have a bad feeling of missing one enemy by the end of it? No. We checked it over a lot. Platinum's helped a lot. I looked at it. I think we're good. No, I've parried it before. So I, I feel like there's certain attacks where it, a lot of people think they're not parryable because you try and you fail. But I've parried it a couple times. It is parryable. Okay, once more. Please. Maybe we gotta parry it later. I love how that does damage to him. How much damage does that do? Not like we had the tunic to find out. Nope. Mm. Okay. Charge! No! I was a bit late, I guess. If it hits a shield right away, it means we're late. Okay, once more. Please don't blame me. We won't do this again. I just, I just need to do this. Please let it work. Yes! Oh, that was so satisfying. It's not even worth it. There's so many better ways to do this. Okay. Freeze to your death. That's fine. Oh, jump shot. Yeah. Satisfying right there. I'm just like leaping to his corpse. Again, we could have aired him twice. That, that, it was just worth it, you know? We're, ooh! Royal Hellbred attack up 18? Okay, sometimes the spears, especially in like the Knight Royal Spectrum or whatever, they can get some just amazing attack modifiers. I'll oh, see, I already dropping that good one. I'm sorry, that was, that was too good. Yeah, the parry animation on the move is so good. That's I want to show it. It's like, okay. Okay, that brings us up to 1998. And yeah, um, well, <laughs> the one red Boko left in Hyrule after seeing a lone Hylian wake up from a coma, commit genocide against all of his fellow enemies. Man. <gasps> yeah, I don't know who we're saving for a last victim. That made me think earlier when I got that question. But yeah, in terms of the count, yeah, that's in the description. So, uh, well, Champion's Bell all cleared now of enemies. Overall did a lot, did a lot of shrine. All the Divine Beast enemies are cleared. A Trial of the Swords next. If there's no Nintendo Direct next week, we'll do it next week. Um, if there is, we'll push it to the following week. And yeah, we're doing like the eyeballs too. Guaranteed choo choo barrels. Major battle segment. We counted that, right? Yeah. Okay. We're going to do this next one. I think it's a modest. No, it's another miner. Uh, damn it. That's fine. The more we crank out today, we, we cranked out a lot. Uh, today we got 11 spirit. Oh, wait. Well, we started with four, so uh, we got seven shrines done of the normal variety and five? Yeah, no, no, that's right. Five of the champions build. So we did 12 shrines in total. We plan on doing two more, so uh, 14 shrines in one day is pretty good compared to, you know. Well, just considering we finished Champion's Bell and did other stuff, too. Saving Ganon for last? Oh, yeah, you know, that's fair. Was that an enemy? <laughs> or were you dynamic spawn? Getting me worried here. That's a dynamic spawn. Who am I kidding? They all are. Hmm. I know, we're, we're gonna save you guys for a little later. <laughs> Did 30,000 spin flips and yeah. Animal. <laughs> so about the keys. Uh, there's some keys that are like static spawns, but yeah, keys typically are dynamic spawns. Uh, a lot of people don't realize, but yeah. Sometimes Lizelfos in the water can be dynamic spawns or in the desert or in the icy areas. 
Like, it is possible to find the fire breath Lizalfos in the desert. And all those are dynamic spawns. So there's not a set static spawn for it. Okay. Two birds, one stone. Make a little fire with that, too. I don't Yeah. And then directly in. Not quite. Why wasn't I just patient? Also, the frame rate's really having a field day. Oh. Well, we got the tail end of the updraft. And cave! We're really low in bows. Next stream will be a big restocking, but we'll get a lot of octo platforms. Also nice that bomb made three campfires. <laughs> Very funny. Wah. There we go. Okay. Another minor test of strength. We're just gonna beat this one, but the final one will be a major. So I'll have to look for that. And um There's Talus or Peplets, we'll ignore those for now. Um Wait, I'm actually gonna look at my normal map and then compare it. <laughs> we'll find that major. Okay. What's my favorite Breath of the Wild location? That's a hard one that I never know how to fully answer, but I feel like a large part of me always goes back to uh, the Tingle Islands on the eastern edge of the map by Akala. Uh, those are just really cool. I don't know. I just like exploring all the different bridges and the four islands, everything split between them. So that's always a fun place. There's a shrine, some loose enemies, a lot of mining. So that's a cool one. I also like the Grudo, uh, the canyon a lot because it has all the platforms. <laughs> Again, a theme with the wooden platforms. I just, for some reason, just adore for no reason. But uh, hey, I mean, they're cool. I like little structural things. I like how there's elevators too, like in the reaches just past that. I don't know. I'm sure everyone has their own. Uh, those are just two that come to mind, so. Okay. Legendary uh, Gerudo Highland Gold Lionel, which is unique because it does, doesn't use elemental arrows. Oh, really? Right. Okay, I remember. It's the only Lionel to have normal arrows, which is very odd. But okay, that will be our 1999. There we go. Which was the year I was born. Like, I can actually say at this time. <laughs> Not, not like the jokes, like 1820. Small bridges are weirdly cool to walk on. Yeah, it just feels cool. And like ramps and just different scenes. And yeah, I don't know. This odd complex terrain is what I like. Um, I'm also one of those people that likes really just weird architecture, whether it's in like a house setting or uh, I don't know, like a cool museum or something. I don't have like sp specific structures in mind. Just if it looks very avant-garde and just <laughs> over the place, but like controlled chaos sort of wise. I like it, so. But okay, our last and final destination I am looking right now. Um, this is a modest test of strength. We're not going to Hyrule Castle because I don't want to do Castle yet. I'm saving that for a big clear out. Um, that is a major, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. Wait a second. Sorry, I'm looking at my personal map. We could go there. Uh, yeah. Major test of strength. Okay. Let's do it. Any objections? I don't see any. Okay. This will be our 2,000th kill. So, I mean, we're already over 40% of the enemies cleared, but this is just a nice monumental number. We started today with 1,888, so that means we only killed 112 enemies, which is by far the lowest, right? Yeah. Because even in the last stream, we just did first half a champion's bell, then the one-headed obliterator almost had the same amount. Uh let alone the stuff we did after. It's my favorite weapon. Is it really the drill shaft? I mean, of course. We literally have two of them. <laughs> Second best attack up modifier and a critical it, which is just rare. All for the clout of it. But okay. 
A little bit of fairy fun. I might as well take some fairies here. Um, I guess we'll see. I'm excited. Now that we have the master cycle, it's going to make things a lot faster. It only get exponentially faster once we finish the shrines with enemies. Which we've probably done, I want to say, almost like half the enemy shrines. Because only about half the shrines in the game have enemies, if not a little less. So, you know, it's it's nice. Because if we had to do a full 120 shrines for the run, plus DLC, that would have sucked. So I'm happy with the amount. Yeah, I'm not dealing with this, <laughs> this the slow stuff today. So avoid sprinting while we can. So much easier. Works great for bugs, too. Especially on the Satori Mountain Tree when you're trying to get all the beetles. Very, very helpful. Stats of the stream. Previous stream, 154, which was the previous lowest, and today, 112. That's okay. You know what? After the Trial of the Sword stream, there's almost 200 enemies in Trial of the Sword. Uh, which could take an entire stream, maybe a little less. We can do a little more. Um, but after that, we can... I see us definitely hitting enemy counts in the 300s for most of the streams. So it's just going to blow the averages out of the water. Which will be awesome. Also, that was very far from awesome. <laughs> Whoop. Nice. There's a little chest in there. Forget about these ruins. There's two little chests. Okay. Definitely been here before. I just It's just been a while. A long while. Also, I didn't see the count, but thank you guys for over 500 likes in the stream. Uh, eventually, we hit 600, maybe by end of day, even after stream. That would be awesome. So, thank you for the support. Also, I feel bad. No, we don't need a meteor rod, actually. We really don't. I'm going to stop picking up useless crap. Maybe we have another uh, gale. If not, then that's okay. Wonder how many Lynels there are in this? I think it's, it's no more than 30. It can't be more than 30. Like, I, I think the Lynel counts between 20 and 30. That sounds right, right? A quick search in the object map can fix that. But right now, our goal is just to finish this. Also, for a quick note, I like to finish my streams before the four hour mark because any stream after four hours from YouTube, uh, it makes like an insanely long process and like time for the VOD. Because as soon as the stream finishes, like, it's got to take a while to process, so it's not going to be in HD quality. But for some reason, streams over four hours uh, take an insane amount of time to process. So, as long as you get before that milestone, that's usually when we try to end things. <laughs> We've been really maxing. Like, usually our Wednesday streams went for, like, two and a half to three hours. We've been really uh, going off with this run. But it's been fun. Just extra time to hang out and, you know, a lot to do. There's our 10th stream again. So we're ending our 10th stream with a bang. 2,000 enemies. It'll be even faster. I bet that we had 4,000 enemies even, uh, well, before 20. I'm sure we'll do some extra streams besides Wednesdays within like the final month or two leading up to the new game. Because we got to finish this playthrough before the new game. So maybe in like late March, if we still have a lot to do, we might add like a weekend stream here and there too. Okay. Well. Ancient destruction. Trade weapons on this guy. Give him the damage. We can do that. There we go. Nice quick spin. A little fire. Elemental damage works wonders. And the spin. Crack. Okay. First one down. Now he needs to get axed. Really not that bad of a fight. He tried to laser me. What's this next one? Are we going to try for it again this time? I think we are. We are. Come on. Yes. Come on. So amazing. Come on. Yes? We did it! Every single one we could! We finally did it. We were so close last time. We improved. That was incredible. It's kind of like playing drum probe. You just got to get into the rhythm. Uh-oh. 
We were under it. <laughs> okay. I thought we were going would have gotten whacked very heavily there. No, not this time. <laughs> I thought I was going to do the the big blast move, you know? There it is. Okay. Now he's elemental immune. Well, I like we need one of those shields. My mid-combat self-commentary sounds like a YouTube chef describing a recipe. Nice. My goal. <laughs> yes! Oh, we, we finish on it. First go. Well, from that first major test of strength earlier to this one. A hell of a crescendo in terms of how the battle went. And an attack up 71. Okay. Max is attack up uh, 75. But that's still in the upper spectrum. Way better than 60. That can be a good uh, Lionel Slaying weapon once we have ancient, prof ancient Proficiency, if we get that. Also, I, I greatly lied. Uh, we will take this. Whew! Attack up 11. Attack up 17. We got power weapons. Okay. And with that, an amazing fight to conclude this amazing milestone. 2,000 enemies cleared. And there it is. Wow, what a great way to <laughs> do that. We have 2,000 enemies cleared. We have the, all the Divine Beasts done. Have a lot of good utility things like, uh, well, a good horse. We have a good, uh, we have the Travel Medallion, Attack Boosting Armor. Um, after the Spirit Orbs, we'll have 13 Heart Containers and some more. Um, and then, yeah, with this, and of course, well, Champion's Belt and the Master Cycle. So the only really big thing we need left, um, is the Master Sword, which we'll do that either next week or the following week, depending on when the Direct is. There we go, <laughs> 13. Um, but yeah, that was awesome. Thank you so much for watching. This was a great stream. Uh, and yeah, the numbers are going to go exponentially higher now. And uh, whether it's Trial of the Sword or just roaming around the world, cruising around in the cycle. Yeah, it's it, it's going to be crazy. I, I can't wait to see the rest of them. There's still more than half, but it'll be great. I will be live next Wednesday. All the details and everything is in the description. So thank you for being here. 2000, let's go. Thanks, Quinn. Yeah, it was a great time. Uh, I will see you all next Wednesday. And then after that, we'll uh, have more planned, more Relics of the Past streams, our challenge run we're getting up. Um, yeah, the schedule for the next week out will always be in the description. Right now, we just don't have anything until next Wednesday because uh, nothing this weekend. Sorry. Thanks a lot. I will see you all next time. And have a good night. <laughs>